Way. Hello, viewer. Today it is. It's a Saturday, March the 4th, 2023. I am Don Brown, and I trust you are all doing very well today on this evening's stream backslash podcast. We are. Discussing or reviewing, perhaps the same thing, the best sequel in movie history, probably. Yes, that's correct. You guessed it, folks. It's The Empire Strikes Back. Oh, sorry. It is, sorry, Rennie. It is The Godfather Part 11 from 1974. But before we begin, and it's a big but, you can find us here on the YouTube or if you prefer your entertainment in the podcast form, we are also on Spotify. The links are in the description. So if you've not nodded off, as I always say, lots to get through. Shall we get the family out? Did you see what I did there? Let's do it. Let's get him out. Okay, so first up, movie is the name, cynic is the game. It's the blue haired boy wonder himself, the movie cynic. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Mr. Brown? Better for seeing you, my friend. Oh, thank you. It's great to see <laughs> oh, you as well. Oh, oh. Oh. Suit you, sir. How's the channel going, my friend? Oh, great. I uh, just posted a video that I w had a lot of anxiety about posting because of and the... And it was all okay, wasn't it? And everything was okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, everything's going great. Uh, racism has been cured, doesn't it? On a yeah, more positive uh, note. Thanks, thanks to Peter Pan and Wendy, racism is over. I document the entire thing in my video that I just posted yesterday. So if anyone wants to check that out, do you want to throw know a link in the uh, chat at your for sure? Sure um, thing. Yeah, Blue Boy's really killing it at the moment, folks. Um, it's been a great day. Racism is cured. Yeah. So, are you looking forward to this, my friend? Oh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this because I think I had you guys postpone it a week so I could get in here. So I uh, appreciate that. Now, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. It's nice. I, I, it's not just one of the best sequels ever uh, because a lot of talk is, is it better than the first one even? So it's it's, it's it, top three of uh, best sequels of all time, possibly better than the original. Very rare air. Uh, apparently, uh, Stuart Mitchell in the chat says "Breaking Two Electric Boogaloo" is the one. That's true. I've heard this. <laughs> I've heard this. So everything good, my friend. Everything grand. Shall we get? Shall we get the next member of the family out? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Next, putting the M's into our next guest. It is Ms. Martin Muses. Hello, hello there. Hello there. Yeah, I'm really you? excited about this. I love The Godfather 1 and 2. Is it part 11 or part 2? It's part 2. Oh, okay. Get those Roman numerals out of here, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, can you imagine if there were 11? <laughs> oh, yes. There'd if they were good, another, I guess they would be good. Yes, there'd be another nine streams to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, how's your channel going, my f dearest friend? Oh, it, it's getting there, climbing up there, climbing up there. I'm heading up toward 800, so I'm making oh, nice. the final push for 1,000. Mm -hmm. um, I will say all the uh, guests' uh, channel links are in the description, folks. So if you've stumbled across us by accident and you like the sound of the guests you can find them in the description so you're looking forward th to this Teresa yay uh -huh. oh yeah I can't wait I I just recently rewatched both of these and reread the the novel oh, I, nice. I just love it just love it 
Uh, you know what my next question is, don't you? Should we get the next body out? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Third up, or next up, he is the wise elder of the channel. He's been promoted. He is the wise elder of the channel. You know the rest. He is the great mega geek himself, Ian David Diaz. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah there. I, I'm looking forward to uh, talking about part 11, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> are you looking forward to listening to Rennie? I am uh, absolutely. I'm gonna let <laughs> Rennie take it from here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, how's uh, your Rebecca Gold going, my friend? It's going, it's just, it's just again, it's really difficult, um, to uh, to get everybody all in one room um you, but you know it, it, it is what it is you're not and, promoting uh, the gofundme on. as well are you you need to go i am that. yeah i do i do need it but i've been so busy these days you know i was working today i was working a day i was working all week so it's just i it, you see it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's like a trap really i have to work so i can get the money to make rebecca gold do you know what i mean so it's just it's like a yeah it's a vicious sword. circle yeah yeah it is so but you know We'll You're get to it, mate. So yeah. you good, Ian? Yes, everything good. I'm is. all right, mate. I'm all right. Uh, shall we get the uh, the last member of the family out? Yep, and uh, cover your ears because she's oh. very loud. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> no, but I love her. She's great. <laughs> um, brace yourself, folks. Here we go. And last, but by no means least, she is the queen of this channel, all the way from the land of Texas Shire. It is, drum roll, do, 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 do. Rennie L. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello there. <laughs> Save the best for last, I see. Thank you. I'm normally oh, last, but that's good. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh -huh. it's, it's the boss's stream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Brown no, with the fishes tonight. Um <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> even the cats uh, taking part. That's right. That I don't think that one was mine, though. Oh. No, that oh, one was mine. She uh, had to run. She had to run across the keyboard and yell while she did it. Oh, was right. that your pussy? Um, oh, no. <laughs> it is my kitty cat. Yes, it is. Um, I will say more importantly, Mac G always brings it to this channel. Bacon, yes. bacon. He's back. Bring the bacon, Mac G. Yeah. Bring, bring the, the bacon. Ba bring the bacon, Mac G. So, how is married life, Renny? It's really good. I don't think you've told us today yet. <laughs> he puts I, the shrimp on the barbie, times. so that's, that's good enough for her. Oh, no. You want to ask him? He says they never put shrimp on the barbie. Is that correct? <laughs> We've had this conversation. Yeah, correct. There are no shrimps on any barbies <laughs> uh, in Australia. <laughs> um, here you go, Renny. Uh, we do we know this guy? Joshua Levesque in the chat. Do we know this guy? You have a great laugh, Rennie. There you Aww, go. Oh, thank you, Josh. She's happy all the time. Yeah. Oh. Married Even life so. has been really good yeah. to me, you know. Sick so. Even more so with the Australian, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we always make each other laugh, and that's, that's something good. that we've always connected over is laughter. And, um, you know, I was telling one of his friends the other day, you know, that's, you know, lonely and uh, needing companionship. He's like, I've never had anything like that. He's like, yeah, well, it's pretty great. Just saying. <laughs> you go. You're going to brown nice upset one. now. <laughs> nice, right? one. nice one. Sickening, isn't it? <laughs> Freaking vegans. <laughs> <laughs> Something's got to be. So you well, Rennie? Yes. Yeah, I'm doing well. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is for aside. you, this. Be satisfied. Well, thank you. Moving on. Okay, so, <laughs> um, um, hello, chat. We can see you. Hello, chat. We can see you. On What's that? No, I'm just Ten kidding. minutes. Uh, <laughs> should we do some blurb? Yeah. Okay, so, I'm out of practice doing the films, by the way, so if, if it's crap, I do apologise. Uh, the blurb, uh, the Godfather, uh, part 11... Uh, 1974. Can you believe it? Certificate X. Runtime. Three hours. 
<laughs> Three hours, 22 minutes. But you know what? It goes by really fast when Not you're watching it. Not when you're doing it. the slides, it doesn't. <laughs> well, you know, aside from that. <laughs> oh dear. One full day. Moving on. Okay, release date. US, December 18th. 1974. I can't believe 1974. That's nearly 50 years ago. Jesus. And it still holds up, dude. That's the thing. God, I'm old. Uh, UK, May 15th, uh, 1975. Directed by Francis Ford. Is it Coppola? Coppola. 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 Uh, Coppola. Coppola. Written, <laughs> written by Frank Ford. Coppola and Mario Puzo, based on the novel by Mario Puzo, who also did Superman. Yeah, uh, he did. Produced by uh, Francis Ford, indeed. Francis Ford Coppola. Coppola. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gray Fredrickson, Fred Roos, Mona Sagka, Sagka. Associate producer. Music by Nino Rota. The music's quite good. Um, starring Al Pacino as Michael, Robert Duvall, Tom Hagen, Diane Keaton as Kay, Robert De Niro, Vito Colioni. Is it John Cazale? Cazale? Don't know. I think so, yeah. Uh, Close enough. Fredo Corleone. Yeah, I, I know it's going to trip. Fredo up Corleone. There. Yes. There you go. Um, <laughs> have I done a typo here? Talia Shire. Shire. I think it's done auto spell. Damn you, Apple. Connie <laughs> Corleone. The budget was thirteen. That's one three million dollars um gross i think it it's just for the us i've got the there's no worldwide so it's 47 million eight hundred and thirty four thousand five hundred and ninety five dollars gross which ain't bad um so that's the blurb Let's get the little slidey poos out of the way and get on with it. Okay, so The Godfather Parts 2, full movie review. If you have made it this far and you're enjoying this content, and why wouldn't you please, why wouldn't you be, please like, share, and subscribe. Every single click will help this channel grow. We need those clicks, baby. <laughs> we need those clicks. Click, click, click. Okay, so we have a poster. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I, I've door. never seen it like that. That's door stunning. Wow. That door is gorgeous. Door. Nice selection, Brown. Yeah. It's a very kind of brown background. <laughs> 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 Who would like to go first with the uh, initial thoughts and feelings about the film? Shall we do in my screen order? Teresa, would you like to go first? Oh, for sure. Well, as you said earlier, this is like the definitive sequel to a, a movie. I don't think there is a better one. Empire Strikes Back, of course, is great, but it's part of a trilogy. Yes. Yeah, well, and, and, and I'm now subscribing to Francis Ford Coppola's, Coppola's idea that The Godfather is a duology and the third one is just a coda, which really makes a lot of sense to me. It is a movie that when I was younger, I didn't quite get how melancholy and awful this, this one is. Because at the end of The Godfather Part 1, you see that iconic moment when they're all saying Godfather to Michael and they're closing the door and Kay is looking. In the second one, you're just seeing just a complete decline in everything. It, that no matter how hard he tries, he is just rotten to the core. And, and yeah. I, oh, and the, the ending with him just sitting there all by himself thinking about his family and what they were. 
it's mm. it is operatic it is epic and I just can barely handle it. I've had to watch it about 200 million times, though, what? to understand the friggin' plot. Because sometimes <laughs> you're like, oh, that was the moment when they found out this. Look, Michael looked to the left for three seconds or half a second. And that's the moment he realizes something. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, oh, gosh, what a movie. Um, movie, would you like to go next? Yeah, um, back when the Academy Awards actually mattered. Uh, it, it was the first sequel to win uh, Best Picture. Um, Robert De Niro was, I believe, the first actor to win an Academy Award for being the second person to play the same role. Um, and he is incredible in this. And what's really cool is he barely speaks any English at all. He's just speaking um, Italian or Sicilian specifically. Um, but yeah, what's really cool about the Godfather trilogy is um, it, it's operatic nature. But you also have like the classic, the first one's birth, second one's life, third one's death, um, or a, a, a coda now that they remade it um, or re-edited it. But all the same, like this one's incredible because you really do, uh, as you were saying, there's just there's so much melancholy in this movie and you really see the decline of, um, you know, just w the figure that you left in the first movie. Cause at the end of the first movie, you were still, you were really, you were on Michael's side. You wanted him to, uh, exact revenge for Sonny and, um, you know, his father's dead now too. So you just wanted them to, you were right along with him. Um, until the very last shot anyway, when you felt Kate's dread. But um, in this one, you really feel it. It's a decline of um, a, a massive figure. Uh, and you're not on his side. Like at the same time, just like him, like you want him to survive, but you feel really shitty about it. Um, so it, it's an incredibly articulated story. Uh, it's one of the best movies ever made. Um, what do you mean by melancholy? <laughs> it's, uh, there's no Full levity thickos, in this movie. Like me. There's just no levity in this movie, really. There's no, there's, there's no humor. And I, like, you know, we're not talking Marvel humor. Every movie <laughs> has a, you know, a, a, a sense where you can breathe during certain moments. But here, there's always, it's always either tense, or um, the atmosphere is incredibly moody, uh, and. Michael's always on edge, so you're kind of always on edge um, because of the way the movie starts. So, yeah, it's fucking melancholy. <laughs> there is, if I remember correctly, there is one moment of humor. But it's I don't even remember where. Okay, it's sort of... Um, Ian, do you remember this movie? I think you do, probably. I, I do remember it, and it is a masterpiece, both the first and the second. The third one is something else completely. Um, but what you guys don't know is that he didn't want to make this. Fran is it Francis, Francis Ford Coppola didn't Coppola. want to make this at all. So he made the first one and then that was that. But because the first one was such a success and they didn't realize it was going to be a success, they all thought it was going to flop. Every everything that Francis tried to do in the first one, he was battling to do it. You know, they didn't want him to cast yeah. uh, Al Pacino. They didn't want this. They didn't want that. They, they, you know, the budget should come down. Blah 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 blah. So he he fought for it, won the Oscars, and then they demanded a Godfather two of him, and so he was forced into making this. I mean, I, I can't remember when was the point he decided to do it. Um, I think he said in an interview it was the money that made him do this. Besides all of that, this is this is genius filmmaking. It is it is filmmaking at its best. It it, it was it's filmmaking as I know it mm, agree, from the seventies, yes. from you know the eighties, the seventies, yeah. the nineties. Because filmmaking had a, an art to it, had a had a focus to it. Uh, stories were paramount. Performances were paramount. Today, I don't know what we got today, but anyway. So I I really do like this film a lot. The only thing I don't understand is why they cast Robert De Niro. Actually, I do know why. As <laughs> as um, the young version of, um, God, what's his name again? Pacino's character. Vito Pacino. Corleone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do they cast uh, Robert De Niro as that? Because they look nothing like each other at all. <laughs> I don't all. agree with that. <laughs> you the so? end scene? No, because the end right. when he goes oh, back go. for as for his final revenge. Yeah. He um he did the same thing. Like they must must have made the uh, mouthpiece for him too. Because once he got that jaw going, 
Yes. He looked like a young Vito Corleone. I was yeah, like, okay, bit. I can totally yeah. see it at that point. Yeah, a bit. I mean, I got to concede on that one, but still, I just thought it was odd. I mean, it's obviously because he's, he, I think at the time he was quite big, right? So they, they got him. They got him. But and I don't know. But, you know, apart from that, the film is a genius piece of filmmaking. It's really well shot. The photography is brilliant. Yes. The performances from Al Pacino is outstanding. And that is being that is being uh, uh, um, modest. Yep. It's, yeah. not, it's more than outstanding. Everyone in this film performs brilliantly. Every okay. part of this film, you cannot fault. And it's very rare that you can find a film like this. That's like that. Anyway, I'll stop there because, as I said, you, what more can you say about this, about, the, about, about Godfather 1 and 2? They're great, uh, right? They are, yes. Ego, folks, Stuart Mitchell, the scene... So there's two scenes. The scene where Don Roberto gives back the rent money is quite mm. funny. So there's two scenes Agreed. of humour. Yeah. I take that back. That one <laughs> thing. I take the one thing back. There are but also um the, the the scene, you know, when they did the flashback with Robert De Niro, the stuff that they got right, the cars, the street, the everything yeah, right fantastic. across the board. You know, that costs that costs serious money to do yeah, something yeah. like that. You know? And it wasn't like they could put cgi buildings in or anything like that in no. those days you know so it cost a lot of money to make this yeah okay uh we've waited for this moment folks <laughs> there we go we've waited she's waited uh reniel what are your thoughts about this movie well um i don't i don't know how much i can add to what everybody else said but it's pretty much a perfect movie um I, you know, I enjoy some of the funny moments as well as the tense and um, sad moments. Um, I really enjoyed watching Michael. Like one thing I really, I, the first one's always going to be my favorite, but, and I know it's a huge debate on which one is the best one, but to me, it's always the first. Um, but the really great thing about this movie is watching Vito and Michael and their parallels and rise to power and their differences and it's just interesting to see like Vito's rise to power had to do with basically taking care of his family and taking care of himself and doing things for his neighborhood whereas Michael's is basically like don't mess with me and my family nothing comes between me and my family until a member of his family does but um yes. you know it's you know it's a great movie and showing the sacrifices that you have to make if you're in this kind of position and i understand that great power you know power corrupts and all of that but you know what if you were michael can you honestly say that you wouldn't do the same thing i don't know if i can you know i i think he did the i know this is sounding pretty sad but he did the right thing in trying to protect his own by going after everyone that threatened it and um, he is the smartest member of the Corleone family. You know, yeah. his Vito did a great job of running what he ran and he did what he could to run it as an ethical business, as well as, you know, trying to feel good about what he did at the end of the day. Michael ran it as a business, but he also looked at like, you know, the right thing to do by him and his family and his associates wasn't always the right thing to do. However, it was the right thing to do as far as taking care of his enemies. And he wound up coming out on top. And I know at the end, you know, he has that scene where he's thinking back and he said something. Um, I can't remember if it was in this one or the, the first one where he said Fredo was the only one that supported him when it came to him joining the military yep. and they showed that scene at the end and him thinking like, wow, did I really do the wrong thing? Um, Al Pacino came out years later saying that, you know, Michael would never have any regrets. Well, I don't think he's right in that aspect because if you read the book, Michael does actually have feelings. He just has to become more and more calculated as he becomes more and more powerful. So, you know, it's one of those things where you can tell he wants to be a good person sometimes, but he can't. And so I pity him and I feel for him in that respect. But at the same time, I also understand why he made the choices he made. 
Uh, in the chat, Stuart Mitchell says, if my bedroom got machine gunned, I wouldn't be happy either. No, I'd want revenge. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, be warned, folks, there are a sizable amount of slides, I will say. So we will do our best to proceed at haste. Shall we do it? Do it. Okay. So I think obviously this is I think this is from the Blu-ray version, so obviously we've got slightly updated bits and bats. So. Uh, this isn't a Paramount picture. So where is this starting then? Is this does this start directly after the first one? Do we know or no? It's several years later because the son yeah. is um, having his first communion. Yes. And they're living in uh, Tahoe instead of in New York. Yeah. And Kay even says, you said that we would be legitimate in five years and now it's been this many years. What's um, somebody's kissing his hand? Who's kissing his hand? Isn't that left over from the first movie, maybe? Yeah, yeah I, I was going to so. say that's yeah. from the end scene of the first movie. Okay. Right. So that's like a mini recap that he's the man. Yeah, and then yeah, they... It's a reminder of where we left him. Mean Previously on The Godfather Part <laughs> 1. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mario Puzo is the Godfather. It even looks like the, uh, the logo's handwritten as well hand-drawn, which is quite charming. No no, uh, no CAD on that one, eh, boys and girls? Okay. Mm. So this is the kind of recap, isn't it? We're, we're back in uh, Sicily, and this is the origins, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I assume this is 1901. Uh, since it's, well, since it said that, I would assume so. Yeah. Because we cut to, like, I think a, a little funeral, we and do. then boom. Or, yeah, after funeral or whatnot, but uh, yeah. That's that's Michael, isn't it? That's and Vito. Yeah, that's yeah. Vito. Yeah. Oh, Vito, yeah, His sorry. brother was killed. No, wait, his father, his father was, killed, was killed, and then his son, was, then his brother was killed in the scene, yeah. Um... Certainly very picturesque and definitely no CGI. <laughs> yeah, what's that? CGI? <laughs> yeah. So I think that there's a gunshot or something go off, isn't there? I think this is where the gunshot goes off. Mm -hmm. And they all scatter. It's a funeral, isn't it? And then uh, gunshot goes off, which probably isn't respectful, is it? Not very respectful. <laughs> so they're all running off. Yeah, oh yeah, so this is where the other son dies, right? Right, right. Yep, yep. Cause yeah, yeah. Uh, I On mean, the, the uh... mother earns her uh, misery and despair, and then some. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've let on the. E the Sicilian parts, um, I did the um, subtitles so everybody knows what they were talking about. Is this where, is this her other son that's been shot then? Paolo. Mm -hmm. yeah. so she's burying her husband and then Paolo gets sent to the great beyond at the same time. It's like a two for one, though. You can just add him onto the pile. Not good, is it? That's some proper grief, isn't it? Yeah, the acting there is actually pretty strong. From mm -hmm. uh, is this where the mother goes to? Is this the uh, the mafia boss? The boss? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Don. Oh, I forget what his name is. I think it's on the captions. Don, how do you pronounce that? Don Chicho. Don Chicho. 
Yeah. That so SOB what's... gets what's coming to him. Yeah, just seeing this again gets me so amped up about the ending. It's, you get, yeah. you're, so, you're, you're just left so satisfied with that, with the revenge <laughs> thing. Let me whisper yeah. it in your ear. Yeah, oh, it's so good. So what's she doing here? She's um, pleading effectively for, uh, is it Vito's life? Yes. Like, don't kill yeah. Vito, too. Yeah. It's like, uh, Vito's going to grow up and kill me. And it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's correct, sir. He deserved to die. Only <laughs> nine oh, and God. dumb winded. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Gee whiz, mom, love you too. <laughs> he's just a silly boy. Look, look he's so stupid. <laughs> well, but she well, does have like... to try and save his life, you know. Like, oh, I know, but still, him. that's kind of harsh. <laughs> there you go. He never speaks. It's not his words I'm afraid of. Uh, feel free to do some inputs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We'll I know they're pretty slides. Well, I know they're lovely slides, folks. Well, I know you have a bunch of them, though. I just want to yeah. get through them and not... See, like, there we go. Know. That's what I was saying. When he's a man, he'll come for revenge. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So this is the all kind of crux of this little story, isn't it? This is yes. foreshadowing what's well, to come Well, Vito's later. part, yeah. Yeah. Photography's good uh, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's great, yeah. especially and for Vito. such an old movie. Mm. Yeah. And oh gosh, and the way they blow her away. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is vicious. So th it looked like the mother knew that they were gonna kill the boy, which is why she grabbed. Yeah. Yeah. So she sacrificed yeah. for her son. Yeah. yeah. Well every every mother that all will do, wouldn't they? Yeah. That was the problem. Um, here you go. John says crazy Italians. Hmm. Technically uh, Sicilians. The... Yes. Well, she must have been on a rope here, right? Like the old school way they do this, yeah. which yeah. would be yeah. like yank her back because she gets fucking yanked. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was one hell of a shot. Yeah. <laughs> so was she a stunt? <laughs> Was she a stunt no, woman then? No, um, well, I think it was the real actress, but in those days, um, they did have wives, but they had to paint it out frame by yeah. frame oh, in those man. days. So that's why you don't see anything. Well, but... I, I guess there's not too many frames. No, there isn't. Um, no. But yeah, they, they did that with Superman, the, Superman yeah. the movie. They painted out the wives. But that one hell of a stunt, though, let's face it. That, yeah, that she kick back goes at and some a half. speed, doesn't yeah. she? Okay. Yeah. Hooligan yeah. S3 in the chat, eat a roni. That is what she had for lunch, for sure. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Boom. For sure. I don't know about you guys, but the violence in this film seems to be more real than some of the violence we yeah. see today in, in today's films. I, I guess it's the Absolutely. subject matter and stuff that makes it feel more more authentic. I don't well, know. not just that, but like I believe, like we have we rely too heavily on CGI. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. also, like acting today isn't as great as some Shots. of the acting back in the day. You know. Nope. I think like the baseline of acting's better now, but I don't think that you get the performances that yeah. were peak back then that, that, anymore. I, I think I think it's because that the Americans really th they have that method acting and they have yeah, certain yeah. different acting and they deep they they, they dig really deep don't they, in their in inside themselves their psyche and stuff like that to bring out a performance. You know, in those days, um, acting was considered you know an art that you had to master today i think because of tiktok and all these things people just come out and they're they're, they're very comfortable with being on screen now yeah. so they can perform to a certain degree that's I think an interesting point yeah yeah i hadn't i hadn't thought of that that's interesting uh so this is where um the don is saying that any well it says that any family who hides the boy is mm. gonna get it yeah, yeah. and um yeah. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if it's family members or friends uh, trying to get rid of him, trying mm. to. Uh, yeah, just in the village. Him. Yeah. Oops. And then we well, go to. Sorry, you see now, baby boy. with that no, no, shot. Just saying, you know. Yeah. 
with that oh, shot, that, yeah. mm-hmm. that had to be that. That's real. Do you know what I mean? Today, that we all CGI. So to make sure nothing yeah. was nothing was there from night. Was it 1973? Nothing in the shot. So yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty freaking committed. You know. Yeah. 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 So uh, we're in New York. New York, New York. So good, they named it twice. They did. Mm. I lived four hours away from New York my entire life and never went. Oh, really? I oh, never, that's... never visited that city. No. Really? I kind of no. like New York. It's quite. Oh, I'm, I'm still going to go at some point. I just, I don't know. It was always right there, so I just never cared. I'm like, I'll get mm-hmm. to it. This is um, the, the boat boat journey, isn't it, to New York? Um, do you know my mum? Uh, when she came over to England, she 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 was on a boat for four for two weeks, and she never got any food. All she got was tea. People what? scrambling for tea, yeah. So she didn't eat mm. for two weeks, and she came over by boats. So I can just imagine what these people were were um, suffering. Oh, well, obviously yeah. it's a film, but yeah. <laughs> oh just yeah. Look, just look at all the. The amount of extras that are there, I think when mm. he's just come, Chris Comas, the amount of extras that are there, yeah. fully costumed. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm saying, that they, they obviously today it would be CGI people and stuff like that. But in those days, filmmaking was a huge task, you know, especially when you're making something that's, that's push, you know, depicting, you know, years before. So that's why it won. That's why it's so perfect. We go up on back when filmmaking was real. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 I remember those days. <laughs> I mean, now, like in Ant Man three, like there, yeah. uh, when he's just walking on the street, I am pretty sure that's uh, just a green screen. CGI, yeah, CGI. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, they yeah. don't. Need, it's cheaper now just to film on a screen Volume. rather yeah. than just going outside and filming yeah. along that street. You see this when I went to New York. I went there. Um, I went to Statue of Liberty, Liberty Island, and they showed you a film of how the people, if if they found anything on you, if you had even the flu, they'd send you back. Yeah. But um, the difference between then in America and when my mum came from the boat, they just let them in. They didn't do any tests yeah. on them. They just opened the door and said, right, come in. But in America, it was different. You had to be checked. You had to make sure that you didn't have measles or anything like yeah. that. And, and then, yeah, then we'll let you in. Um, Vito would have been on the boat on his own, wouldn't he? Yes, he yeah. was. Uh, yeah. And he's still not said anything. Nope. Little nine-year-old boy. Yeah, He's traumatized, isn't he? Yeah, and then foreshadows his uh, <laughs> uh, demeanor that yep. you get straight from you know, straight from the beginning of the movie, the first movie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a calculating figure. Mm. Okay, so the, they've arrived in New York. They're obviously going through all those tests. Yeah. Uh, he's asking him questions, and Vito's just not saying anything, is he? Mm. Yes, yeah, so that's what yeah. I was talking about because I saw a film about this. So I like this part. You, but yeah, they check you. See this is where you find them. out how he got the last name Corleone. Instead of Andolini, mm-hmm. he's like, Oh, you're from Corleone? Last name Corleone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, good scene. Sorry, my Wi Fi dropped out. Is per usual so uh, is, everybody's been to the gym i see yeah, yeah. <laughs> been mm-hmm. on the starvation diet folks yeah. i don't know one dude doesn't look like he's starving. yeah exactly <laughs> they tested him for polio and i think he tested positive uh, smallpox or small well smallpox a derp in quarantine for three months yeah. um here you go. Uh, Tim, I like saying this, Hannah Bomb, not a false note in this whole movie. Mm-mm. Yeah. Wow. It took a long time yeah. shooting it, though. That's the thing. So, I mean, you know, because of the success of the first one, the studio gave the director all the time he needed, you know, and he didn't waste a, you know, waste a second trying to make this look as authentic as possible. You know, and, and he achieved it. Yep. So that's temporarily the end of Vito's story for the time being, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And I love it. This is the first time we hear him make a sound where he's singing mm. uh, a, a folk song, and then it moves into this first communion scene. 
So his grandson, who's Anthony? That's Michael's son. Before he became the ah, opera star. Yes. Right. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's Michael's son then. Right. Okay. What are they celebrating here? Is it a christening? It, I think first it might communion. Be yeah. It's first yeah. fucking communion. Oh, Sorry, oh, pardon my French. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the kids, the little girls, and you, the little well, males. You've, you've offended Rennie. She's fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> now she's gone. <laughs> so it's a Wi Fi spotty, spotty today. So Damn. Totally uh, here you go. Romeo, Romeo, Tango, November, Zulu for two oh, so... New Zealand dollars. Anyone seen the offer? Uh, that I have not, but it is on my list. Uh, I haven't seen it either. Yeah, it looks so good. Really mm. excited. I, I the concept of the movie is um, just about the making of The Godfather and how it uh, got produced. And uh, when I heard about oh, the wow. concept, I was like, "Oh, that sounds kind of unintriguing." Uh, but the trailer was had me sold. So yeah. on my list. Okay, so we're at communion. Sorry. You will be. No, you, you left because I said the f bomb. Because I, I said it like ten no, times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was um... like, it's a first communion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I, I, no, I've never been to a first communion party this fancy. I mean, this is pretty. Uh, you know, pretty usually bougie. there's a cake and a few presents and a bunch of there you go. Smile like parents and uncles talking too loudly about embarrassing things. Uh, new face, Smilex. Hello, Smilex. The Offer is one of the best shows of the last five years. Wow. I, I, I oh, when I, I made my first Holy Communion, they had a big spread for us afterwards, you know, with jelly and ice cream and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but I mean, you go. didn't have like senators, like the prime minister didn't come or. No, you know, no he wasn't or... invited. <laughs> <laughs> go. Romeo, Romeo, uh, for another you? two. New Zealand dollars. The offer. Matthew Matthew Good. Good Good steals the show. Mm -hmm. I might need to check that out. The, that's the offer, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um so this is this a charity? This is a charity gig, isn't it, with the aforementioned senator, isn't it? I think so. Well, yeah, because yeah, he makes an announcement that I guess he donated a bunch of stuff to yeah. something. I don't know. This is all kind of front, isn't it? Because mm. the senator isn't happy, is he, really? No, nope. he's not, but they're going to fix that real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Appion in the chat uh, pointed something out. Uh, which one? Uh, this is a perfect, this is perfect because the first, there you go. Okay. This is, uh, the first movie started with Vito's daughter's wedding. So we get a big celebration with Michael in this one. Yep. Um, including that shot you just showed, uh, because, um, Sonny in the first movie walks over to, uh, they were FBI agents, I believe, or, uh, yes. or, or, or I that. yeah, yeah. So then the, uh, confrontation with the police taking the champagne was great. Yeah, because I because I was watching that scene and I was expecting that to happen, so I've obviously got my films mixed up. Yeah, okay. Well, they yeah, because they open kind of similar ways, so yeah. I can see that. I mean, there's a lot of similarities. Um, the, the photography is really brilliant in this, and remember at that time they couldn't go to post and try and fix the color or anything like that. They no. could do a certain amount on the film, like the stock and stuff, but. You really had to know your beans here when you were making films in the 70s. You really had to. And this just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Absolutely. I haven't, uh, I didn't rewatch this because I've seen it so many times. I didn't really feel like I needed to. Um, but the first one I rewatched recently, and they have cleaned that movie up so yeah. well. It yeah. looks unbelievable. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this is off the Blu ray, and it looks fantastic. Yeah, oh, it then really if does. you yeah, if you watch the 4K one, um, I bet it's stunning. So in those days, if you went to see Godfather in the cinema, say for instance you were part of the crew or the, the or the, you know the cast or whatever, it you would more or less see the film like this, like a Blu-ray. But, but you'll get the odd yeah. you know scratches on the film and stuff like that. But if you went to see it in your local, it was kind of downgraded and you know the colors were a bit off and stuff like because they made so many prints. 
so yeah the, the 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 closest to what the director wants you to see is a blu-ray definitely so there you go nice. Mm. Uh, here you go, John in the chat. My Italian mother came to Canada on a boat in 1962 at the age of 20. Wow! Mm. Cool. Uh, this is is this Connie? Yeah, she's a yeah drunk Connie yep. with Mama. Yep. With her new, she wants to get married to this bloke, doesn't she? Yeah, right yeah. after she just got divorced to somebody else. Yeah. It's not um, rocky, is it? Quote unquote divorced, but yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the mother, yes. Mm. What's the mother saying to Connie? Can't remember. Don't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. The mother's More or less. Okay. Get off the sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the, only... and then she also says, uh, oh, father's here and then she makes her go say hi to the priest so it's kind yeah. of a passive aggressive thing too yeah i think what happened with her and carlo really messed her up and now she's just you know going nuts with you know sex drugs mm. and rock and roll and she's Ooh, wanting to marry yes. this guy that wants to marry her for money and power and mm. which is why michael winds up challenging it so and mm -hmm. she yeah. knows in her heart of hearts that michael killed off killed. carlo yeah. She knows they're not really right. divorced. It, She's a widow. So And I think um it's in it, this is a good way to go. uh that, where they took her character after yeah. his death. Because she um, kind of like rebelled. this makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She rebelled. Yeah. What was she well, she, she was, knows sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying she was very young when I mean she was like what barely eighteen when she got married mm -hmm. to Carlo too, and she was very innocent and Right, she's ready to be a stay-at-home mom type of deal. But she she knew she couldn't do anything. If she did something, then she'll the, the wrath of the family would come down on her. So this is the only way she could, you know, express how mm -hmm. she feels. I guess and it's the only way. I mm -hmm. guess. Okay, so I think we're getting to the kind of a, a is it a check presentation? Yes. Yeah. There we go. And he pretends that he doesn't know how to pronounce their name. Keeps calling him Corleone or oh, okay. something. Carleon. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Carleon. Michael Corleone. Michael Corleone despises them, which we'll find mm. out later. Yeah. He won't for long, though. Uh, well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, my evil laugh, but I mean, you, you don't mess with the Corleones, you know? I mean, yeah. It, every time anyone's like, oh, I'm not afraid of you, you know, mafia person, you're just like, House and I love the way that they had this have this look on their face. How stupid are you? <laughs> yeah, let's show you why you should be afraid and why you need to keep your mouth shut, Mister Senator. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the horse head dude in the first. Yeah. Movie. So um, this is where they're going to present the check, isn't it? I think I do believe it's for the kids, isn't it? Mm. Like everything it mm -hmm. always is. It's for the kids, folks. It's for the kids. Uh, yeah. You know the one in the pink? It looks like a man. <laughs> that's not a woman. That's a man, baby. No, <laughs> wrong movie. <laughs> Gosh, they wouldn't be allowed to make that joke nowadays, would they? Oh, no. No. Yeah, it, it would be a... Well, never mind. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. many possibilities. And meanwhile, Mr. Brown loses his channel. Oh, there's Connie. <laughs> looking all happy. He's kind of Thanks, looking Kim. happy. And he's like, yeah, okay, here I am. Um, they've spelt check wrong, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> the way the Americans spell it. <laughs> Why, what, oh, how wait, do you, do you guys all do spell the check? Q U E? Yeah. Yeah, we do oh, the proper Q. way. You know, yeah. the proper way. <laughs> very, very chic. <laughs> you think you're better than us? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it is their language. Yeah. Don't think is it's. It? No. <laughs> well, English. I mean, our... I thought the yeah. Americans invented it. Oh no, it's a Germanic it language. It's ours now, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> we took it. You can have it, mate. Yeah, take it. I don't want to take it. As long as you keep Harry and Meghan. Oh no! <laughs> take it back. Again, everybody there, all in costume. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. And all those people are really there. You know, yeah. and it's incredible. It's 
oh God, I, I so hanker for the old days, man. Um, but that's because I'm retro. That's why. So mm-hmm. there you go. That's great, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Is this is this in Nevada? Somewhere? Yeah, I think so. Well, Lake Tahoe is half in California and half in Nevada. Yeah. So I think they're on the Nevada side, but they don't really ever 100% say, but since they do so much business in Vegas, I assume they're in Nevada. Okay. So speaking of Vegas, mm. uh, this is where the uh, Senator, cause I think is Michael trying to buy some licenses or take some hotels over? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gambling licenses for the hotels, which technically don't cost much, but this guy is just saying, look, I want, Yes, trying to hustle and mm. don't ever contact me again, and I'm going to take X amount, which is five to six times more than yeah. what they mm-hmm. typically cost. It's like, all right, then we'll uh, see you and then raise you a dead <laughs> hooker. A dead hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of uh, very racist words in this. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I forgot that. <laughs> I always yeah. forget about that part. Yeah. I still can't believe this film, and it doesn't exist anymore, is an X. In England, it was an X, which yeah. is an 18 um, now. So, But just the, just the word X, it just kind of tells you. You know, like when I was a kid, if, yeah, if somebody said something yeah. was an X, it, it means stay away. It means you, yeah. kid, stay away is what it means. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, here you go, Romeo, Romeo, another Super chats for five New Zealand dollars. In the offer, it's suggested the Carlo actor hit Talia Shire for real during filming. In response, James Khan beat him to a pulp during their fight scene. I, think I know that James have, uh... Khan did beat him by accident, but I no, don't no, think it's, it's in response to that. No, I think it's true. I, I've 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 read a lot of stuff about uh, the Godfather, and I think. Then that why is true. did they include that one shot where it's a blatant miss from yeah. the side? Oh, 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 well, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, it takes me out like of the movie so him. much. No, I know, I, I know. fucking hate that shot. I, know, I noticed oh, it when I was a kid. Yeah, but obviously, um, but obviously, he was, you know, when he did get his punches in, they were they were real. Like, oh, keep the real ones in, then. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I heard that I heard that a long time ago that he he, he um, really get really dived into him because of yeah because yeah, of the slap I heard that, yeah, yeah yeah so I don't know if it's true but this is where the senator has laid down the law that if Michael wants to get into the hotels he's got to effectively pay him off and give him a percentage mm. each month isn't it <laughs> that is a great screen grab yeah. Damn, that's good. You know, Very they got, evil. Oh, they got told off for that, didn't they, in the first one? Because the producers, uh, the, the studio saw the rushes from the first one and were like, how comes everything's so dark? You know, well, why do you put some light cool. into that scene? Yeah, yeah. Like, why do you <laughs> think, you dummies? Understand. Yeah, so. Um, here you go, folks. Stream killer. No, you're not seeing this movie. Well, it's a good movie, you know. If, <laughs> what? You, if you get the chance, if you get the chance, you should. You have to. You have Shut to lay down the time door. though, because it's quite long. Oh. But yeah, you know. That's a stream killer. Well done, time profit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time no, no. profit. All right. All right. I don't think oh, Michael's yeah, happy. Yeah, oh, look at him pushing his. Oh, look at that look on Michael's face. Like, you so dumb. Who won the Oscar this year? Because it wasn't him, and why? I know. I don't oh, know. Man. Uh, he didn't win till Scent of a Woman. No, he didn't. Uh, um, but the thing is, though, with the with the Oscar committee, they were really biased in those days. Like they 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 like for instance, they wouldn't give you they wouldn't give you an award because so and so doesn't like so and so, whatever. It was just really? all that rubbish. Yeah. And um, so when Spielberg made Jaws. Right, he was nominated for director, and he didn't obviously didn't get it. it I mean, he it was the best film there. Same thing with other films as well. So there's a lot of a lot of crap like that happening in it. But yeah, I don't understand why he didn't win. He his performance was 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 powerful, wasn't incredible. it? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was phenomenal. unbelievable. It's yeah. so understated too. Yeah. Um, 
I think the guy who played the senator, he was great in it as well. Oh, All this guy is awesome. Yeah. He's so yeah. memorable. His his accent, everything's very memorable. Uh, more importantly, Matt G, double helping folks of the right bacon. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, honestly, Brown, I don't really think you can say there are like a lot of bad actors in these movies. It's just so fun. It is he, just everybody's crappy. pretty much perfect for the part mm -hmm. that they play. Um, I don't know. It's just carried so well, and maybe it's because Coppola is such a great director. I don't know. Well, yeah. And maybe they were all just enjoying themselves as well. Maybe. Okay, so the senator's left, hasn't he? Yeah. Senator Douche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the douche senator. <laughs> yeah. um, mm -hmm. Who's the, is this... Uh, is this Fredo? Is it Fredo? 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 Yeah, because I think they were demonstrating he likes to go fishing. Yeah. Oh, oops. What's the name of this guy? I've forgotten. Frank Patanjali, Frankie Five Angels. So, mm -hmm. what's his backstory? He's watching over the Corleone house in New York and running that area. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's he's the it. role that it would have been if they'd have kept the dude from the first movie, but it didn't work out with the actor. Mm. Uh, you go up here on Buster. like this. You've got to do better, Senator. <laughs> 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 Very yeah. good, up here. Very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do you like that jacket, Ian? That's fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. <laughs> okay. Great jacket. Uh, is he taking him to see my... You never get or, drunk or around a mob boss. It's just bad news. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's one of um, the, the last slide that has um, one of Spielberg's friends in the last slide. The guy with the glasses in the background. Him. He's uh, one of Spielberg's best friends. And he was there when the nominations came in for... Uh, when when he had Jaws, him and Spielberg was in the room, and he didn't even get nominated. Spielberg didn't get nominated for director, and both of them are really pissed off. Fuck. He's been in a lot of movies and TV stuff as well. If you see his face properly, you'll you'll recognise him. Yeah, can't remember his name though. Okay, uh, this they this all look like they belong, the don't they? Yeah. Wow. What mm -hmm. is this guy? Uh, is it Roth Rothman? No, that's not Eli Roth. Or not Eli. No, it's, it's his associate, isn't it? I don't know. I don't remember his name. He's the one who gets strangled with the coat hanger, isn't he? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is where they're talking business about Mr. Roth, isn't it? Yeah, mm. Hyman Roth was the name. I don't know why I said Eli. Yeah. There we go. And what's he doing? He's wanted to take over some, as we said, some casinos by effectively yeah. getting rid of some other people, isn't he? And is that Roth got something to do with it? I can't remember exactly. Yeah, Roth has big time stuff to do with the <laughs> freaking casinos. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's basically in charge of that whole area. Um, Mo Green, who was his, like, I guess, like, I don't know, almost son, was basically like the Godfather's representation of uh, Bugsy Siegel. And they killed him mm -hmm. off in the first one. Yeah. Um, that caused a folks. lot of problems. Yeah. Go, folks. Another uh, super chat. Romeo, Romeo, being very generous tonight. Another five New Zealand dollars. Dear Brown, I think that's me. These movie streams are your peak content, mate. Great guests talking about great movies. Always look forward to them. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think that's a hint. He wants us to do more of these. Yay. Okay. So let's move on. Let's move on. Um, the band are not playing any decent music, are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got to let them know, too. Mm. So what? 
Do the play, uh, do the play Pop Goes the Weasel or something? Or something like that. Oh, yes, yes, because he, he <laughs> wants <laughs> them <laughs> to play yeah, Tarantella, and instead they yeah. go to Pop Goes the Weasel. And he's like, ah. <laughs> and it's like, you suck. Yeah, forget you guys. Troll them. I forget you guys. <laughs> uh, Matt G in the chat goes, so how about bad guests talking about bad movies? Oh, that would be funny, Brown. You should get that together. <laughs> well, you'd definitely be on that then. Oh, 100%. <laughs> okay. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, she this knows. Is... Yeah, is this where she's asking him she wants to get married? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, basically, he's basically saying no, isn't he? No, yeah, he's but... like, tell him no, he'll understand. Yeah, get but she's trying I know to, I to love that. Defy him, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. she's, she's trying to, to defy him. Um, she's basically she's telling him that she knows anyway by what she's doing. It's kind of it's kind of like a like a kid that doesn't want to eat its vegetables kind of thing. Yeah, so. her rebellion. Uh, well, here you go, Flopmeister. Like the... uh, sorry, Teresa. Uh, no, no, that, that's okay. Uh, Flopmeister, Michael wants to take over the casino, but Roth is the owner of the casino, so they have to make a deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Teresa? Damn right. Well, I know it's going to say uh, there was a deleted scene in this movie when either before this or after this, Sonny's daughter comes and asks for permission to marry her boyfriend, and he says yes to him. Um, so it's like he'll say yes to one and why he says no to the other. And then the, the, the little boy who is going to be marrying Sonny's daughter, he's it's implied he's going to help him with the family. Uh, Appion, got to get the Godfather's approval. Darn right. It's like the queen. Well, or I guess the king now. No, yeah. the queen, that's Rennie. <laughs> oh, well, of course that's Rennie. Well, yeah, of course. Um... So again, beautiful sets. Yeah. All paid for. All real effects. Yeah. No CG. The one thing I do like about this movie is it you just feel like it's the kind you know the, the kind of it just feels so real. So you you just get sucked straight into it, straight away. And it's at just yeah. such a leisurely pace. Like the I, acting is so yeah. good. The cinematography is great. The 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 photography is great. It's just everything clicks and it feels real. It's not like you're watching a movie. It's almost like you're watching a documentary, right? Well, I hate yeah. to say it, but those days they were real films. Not, yeah. Not, not to cast um, a horrible thing on today's movies, but today's movies is completely different to the way they used to make movies in those days. And the reason why it feels so real is because that um, uh, Francis Ford Coppola was he was trained in theatre directing, so he he would rehearse with the actors. He wouldn't shoot anything unless he's rehearsed with the actors, so the actors mm-hmm. knew where they were coming from. But also the amount of weeks that the actors uh, were together, they became some kind of a family yeah. As, yeah. as actors. So it kind of the 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 the, um, the relationship between everyone kind of works because they've 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 hung out a long time with each other. So it all, all comes down to that. Bigger really. folks, Franco, you feel like you're there with them. Yes. Mm. Fredo, you broke my heart, Fredo. Yeah. <laughs> but I, my see. Brother. yeah. I, I use that line all the time. <laughs> He's betrayed him yeah, already, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. That's, that's such a sad scene when um, when uh, Adrian's trying to beg, beg to, to beg him, beg what's her name to, to. Sorry, I'm going ahead of the film, so. Um, bigger uh, folks, channel supporter, the great Melvin Deeply, five real money folks, five mm. quid. Uh, Mr. B, review Doc Savage, Man of Bronze, mm. made in 1975. Yeah, Ron Eli. That, I don't mm. know it. Is I do, it I do. Never He's heard of that. So, Ron Eli is the guy that played Tarzan, the TV show in, in the 70s. Tarzan, oh, yeah, and okay, he, yeah. And he is it's based on a pulp. Uh, pulp uh, novel, uh, Doc Savage is like it's kind of like Indiana Jones, um, but he's 
his skin is bronze and he's really tough and it's got super super strength that kind of thing so yeah mm. there you go i've never seen it it's all right it's, it's, it's i think it had the humor like batman so right okay mm. right okay uh melvin i will investigate Um, is this where we're going to get the uh, line about the ink? Isn't or was that was that in the study? Can't I don't remember. Know. I don't know. The mother isn't happy though, is she? You can tell the she's never happy. Or is it Mothers are never happy. Yeah, yeah. They aren't. No, no that's not <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, they're all acted like drunken idiots for crying mm. out loud. It's yeah. Like the total look of disapproval. Yeah. Yeah, her kids are just being disappointing as well as like, you know, Fredo's spouse, but he still count still counts as part of Fredo because that's his wife, you know, so. And F Fredo's the jealous type, isn't he? That's yeah, not, not mm -hmm. just that, but he's just kind of a douchebag. Yep. Yeah, that jacket says it all. Let's face it. Yeah, <laughs> he's the guy who like pulls his pants up past his belly button. That's but right. Brings yeah. the pants all the way down to the ankles to pee. Yeah. <laughs> Ian does that. Oh uh, the, who's That's this? Right. Look, here we go. The movie cynic in the chat for five US dollars. Bring Romeo, Romeo Tango November Zulu on as a guest sometime. Mm. Good he's idea. Been few, he's been on a few times. Has he? Mm. Have I yeah. missed any? Was I on? <laughs> I, don't I don't think you were on. Well, there. He's been on a few that times. Nice. Yeah, I don't remember this either, but I've been kind of mm. in and out lately. So, uh, so, so that's um, here, Robert though. Duvall, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. He's a huge star now, but he hardly said anything in these movies. No, but he didn't need to. Even just yeah, the looks right. he gives and yeah, his yeah. presence mm -hmm. is amazing. Great, yeah. But, you know, he bowed out of the third one because did, they wouldn't yeah. give him enough money. And he was being mm -hmm. such a jerk about it. I'm like, oh, wow. all right, well, guess what? They killed you off, you dumbass. <laughs> In hindsight, it was probably a good idea, though. I, I yeah. think that yeah. the role that he would have played in The Godfather 3 would not have been good for his legacy, the character. Is 3 not good, then? I didn't like it. Personally. Three is not a fan favorite, but I will tell you, and I think Teresa, you can back me up mm -hmm. on this. I will. Coda is the version or is the movie that Coppola meant Godfather Three to be, and um, you know, without the studio interference and actually getting the freedom to make it the way he wanted to make it, he got to recut, add some stuff, take away some stuff, and it's a much better version, and it's a lot, lot easier to swallow so who's mm -hmm. the who's the who's the girl that couldn't act was was it coppola's daughter so did he did he cut her completely out no, no because but, if he didn't <laughs> he but i do feel like movie. her scenes are, are a bit reduced but yes um and he yeah, truncated he, some of the scenes with with her in it and it, it really wasn't her fault it was supposed to be R renota Ryder. yeah who I mean, that would have made oh, all that would have been so much work. better. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Go, but folks. she couldn't do it. And then last minute, they wanted the to get the movie going real fast. So he just asked his daughter to step I in. Do, and there you have it. I agree with Appian on this one. Three has one of the saddest endings <laughs> I've ever seen. It is really sad. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, uh, so but when he drops the orange. <laughs> You no, I think I, no, I think it's because of Pacino's acting. Like even though you know, uh, when she dies, uh, oh, when she's right, shot, his bit. acting, um, oh, well, it's just it's silent. heartbreaking. Yeah, it's in, watching his face. Yeah, they should have yeah. made the third and that one. scream. Um, it's, oh, really? uh, painful yeah. to watch. I will in say it's way. it's a little bit better oh. with the ending. They don't show him like falling out of his chair and all that stuff at the end. So I, I do recommend you check it out. I know you said you watched a little bit of the third one, but or a little bit of Coda, but I recommend you finish it. It's, yeah, it's I'm better. still going to finish it I because uh, I bought it. But it's so hard for me to start. I've, I've seen the third one so many times because I've seen these movies so many times all together uh, that it's hard for me to dissociate like what was going on. When I'm seeing a scene in Coda, I'm like, oh, I know what happened beforehand, but it didn't happen beforehand because he's yeah. the edited the movie, you know, so it's just hard mm -hmm. for me to break that. 
Uh, I'll finish it though and give you some feedback. Yeah, I think you should. I really do. Uh, Fredo's wife has made an ass of herself. Mm -hmm. Well, because their marriage is kind of a joke. It's a sham, isn't it? Yeah. So, nice, nice like, screenshot. Either you, yeah. <laughs> it, and and he's all the the bodyguard dude's like either you deal with it or we will. Yeah, and then yeah. Fredo like a wuss like oh, okay you go ahead and deal with it. Like he can't yeah. even deal with his own wife. Hmm. Well, Fred Fredo is a bit of a douche, isn't he? Let's face it. Yeah, he really is. It. I, he seems so weak. And because mm. uh, he is, but I just, yeah. he just comes off so pathetic. And that's how I feel about him, too. Well, mm. and it makes me upset when he explains like his bitterness towards Michael and Sonny and how he never got a chance. And it's like, you couldn't run the family if you tried. Mm -hmm. It would have run into the ground. Yeah, Don There's Corleone no way. did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You broke my heart, Frito. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, uh, what's going on here then? I don't know. Pentangeli oh, is asking for more support in New York. Mm -hmm. Because and the saying, other people are encroaching we... on his territory. Oh. Yeah. And he's like, we do so much for you and you don't give a shit, you know? And it's like, oh, no, that's mm -hmm. not really the case, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like he was running the family into the ground in New York. But mm. yeah, and that's what Michael thinks too. Well, and Michael knew what was going on, and he was asking him to be patient because he, there was some other crap that he was dealing with. And yeah, he he didn't listen. He got impatient. Yeah. Like an idiot. So what's he saying here? I think that's where he goes racist too. He goes. He oh goes yeah, he says full, some things uh, that we shouldn't repeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's um uh, again, it's such beautiful lighting these scenes, isn't it? You know, yeah. you just you see exactly what what the director wants you to see. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Like what's his name? Um, uh, that guy in a grey suit. Oh god, I just just said his name there, and I can't remember his real name. But he's always in the background, and he's Robert and he, Duvall. Yes. Robert Duvall. Yeah. You know, he's always in the background, and and the director wants you to notice him. Well, right. and you know, like I know you were saying, he doesn't get a lot of lines, but he really doesn't have to. He is. Yeah. He yeah. pulls off a lot with just his body language and his yeah. facial expressions. You know, yeah. and he's yeah. and he's ruthless. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's the bodyguard there. Who's do you, the, do, you, the do you think that they they actually put some padding on Al Pacino um, just to show that he's he's aged a bit? Because in the first one, he was yeah. very thin, wasn't he? In the first oh. one, and then and then now he's in charge of the family. It does look yeah. like they padded him up because that doesn't is that stomach there doesn't look real at all. Yeah, I think so. I think, or they may have just kind of layered him up to make him yeah. look a little fat or pudgy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the wife. Are they? Ex Kate. They're expecting, aren't they? Yep, mm -hmm. she's got a little She's's... belly, a little baby belly. And it's not, it's not Woody Allen's baby either. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. goodness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All real folks. Mm. Something's about to happen, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Crap's about to hit the fan. This scene was so well crafted. It really shocked me when I saw this for the first time when I was a teenager. Mm. Michael, why are the curtains open? Mm. And it's like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Yeah. Been looking at their cute little picture. So he still kind of has a bit of a family at this point. She seems yeah. to be happy about the baby. Yeah, he, yeah she's still happy, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, mm. they're thinking things are going to go well. And the boy's like, do you like this, Dad? Yes or no? And he's about ready to check yes. Mm. And this is the last time she can really stay in denial about everything. Yes. That's yeah. Just mm -hmm. hit the fan. 
Mm. I do like what he does here, though. Um, uh, you know, one of the first things that comes to his mind is protect his wife and his yeah. unborn child. Mm. Um, that always stood out to me, too. I really love that. I was like, um, you know, he cares about his family. That's uh, mm -hmm. what his father always taught him. And he's mm. always he's always been. Yeah, he's always been like, you know, family first. Why are the blinds opened? Open. <laughs> now, do you believe Fredo when he says he didn't know that this is what they were going to do? No. I, no, he knew. He knew. I, I'm sure. I think he's a little bit of a dingbat. So I think yeah. he meant naive. to shake things up, but he didn't realize that Michael could have gotten harmed. I, I really do believe he's naive. And that plays into how I felt about what Michael did, too. Well, was how I interpreted what Fredo did. <laughs> Well, he couldn't kill Fredo unless the mother had passed, could he? Right, right. So, yeah. But, I mean, you know, because I thought Fredo was naive is why I had feelings toward what Michael did. That, mm. You know, it, it was stronger towards the negative for sure. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you're, you're just like, yes, he is pathetic and poor Fredo. You kind of agree with, um, I think she says it in the third movie. Uh, his sister says that, like, or is it in Fredo this was one weak. Yeah, 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 Fredo's weak. Yeah, yeah. It's like he died in a <laughs> boating accident. <laughs> yeah. you know, he repeats the line. Uh, here you go. Smilex says uh, that child's picture speaks volumes as to how absent Michael is from his actual family. Mm. And then um, mm. uh, rest in peace, Calicron. Yes, sad loss, folks. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Moving on. No, oh, blimey, those bullets are really big. Yeah. <laughs> those are American Weird. bullets right there. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure American they're not bullets. Texas bullets? Everything's bigger <laughs> in Texas. Texas is special. <laughs> you can still get big ones in Texas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they got into Rennie's stash. <laughs> so they're locking down the compound and we're treated to a lens flare, folks. Sweet. Turn them floodlights on. <laughs> Sweet. So it's JJ around, was he? Yeah. Is that shot cool? Them, yeah. Is it, it is. saying Damn. to them, make sure they're alive? Yeah. Get them alive, yeah. yeah. It's like and a, also, a lot of people don't understand understand um this especially filmmakers of today that last shot that you had where he's literally saying to him you know do something horrible it's they're in silhouette do you know what i mean and subconsciously you read that as you see the shot so the director is not stupid he knows how to he knows how to express something by literally showing you a visual thing you know just like that the first one with the um the opera and the baby getting christened and you know mm -hmm. what I mean? All that mm -hmm. stuff is, you know, it's just it's oh, just beautiful yeah. stuff. It really is. Yep. So they're trying to get the gunmen. Sorry, gun persons. <laughs> gun, gun people. Gun people. Gun them. <laughs> the gun the gun they thems. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, no, because non binary people don't assault others. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, it wouldn't be. They're definitely white men. <laughs> yeah. And they are, aren't they? So I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Uh, cheers, Joshua. Thanks for popping in, mate. See you, Josh. Is this where the kind of pennies drop now that this is not going to be good with the wife. Well, she was just... Obviously she's all of shock. them know, though. They all know. You know what I mean? She knew. You know, that's the thing. Denial? Yeah. Because those bullets were there, you know, now she has to face it. Yeah, those big American bullets, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think they found, they found them. But they're, are they dead? Yep. Yep. Yeah. He wanted him alive, but oh well. But whoever did it, or whoever planned it, knew that he'd want him alive. So 
made sure that they yeah. killed the killers so they couldn't talk. Uh, that looks like the old uh, lens flare Photoshop effect from back in the day. That's probably where they got it from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so another meeting. What's going on here now? Remind me. Michael talking to Tom about some stuff that's about to go down because he knows somebody betrayed him, but he doesn't know who. And he's like, "You're the only one I can trust." Yeah, this mm. is where. Yeah, this is where he does say. He does say that you're you were like a brother. Is that what he says? He's yeah, he's his brother. He calls him a brother. Yeah. Because, yeah. 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 Because remember, Vito basically adopted him whenever Sonny found him on the streets. Yeah. And, you know, they've basically been brothers ever since. Yeah, but I think this is the first time he actually literally calls him a brother. And you see how moved Tom is by it. Well, it was weird to me when he did that, right? Because in the first movie, he tells Kay, you know, yeah, Tom's my brother. He's basically my father's son, and this is why. So that's why I'm like, well, why are you having to say that now? Because it sounded like you already considered him your brother. Is this no, it was that was here character. as well. Like, my brother. Is this where he says he's going to disappear and he wants him to run it? Or am I jumping in a bit uh, earlier? I can't remember. I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Next he goes. Oh, That's part of, I think, why he said what he said about him being his brother. Because, you know, he he's lost his other brother and he knows that Fredo is worthless. So. Yep. Mm. Uh, Broke my heart, Fredo. Time Prophet <laughs> asks <laughs> when the big custard pie fight. There isn't one, mate. <laughs> That's. Right. Um, that's Bugs and Malone. You're mixing the film, yeah. two films up. <laughs> so they found the uh, the assailants. Mm. Cause he got spooked, right? Because that's why he said to him, you know, take over yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, this is where they found the dead bodies. Do you think so the, my, the poor mafia hitmen know that they're going to be taken out? <laughs> that it's a suicide probably didn't. mission? <sighs> probably didn't. Not, yeah, not probably not. Not a good job, not. is it? No, not a good job. Hmm. Bad life insurance there. So Michael wanted out, didn't he? Yeah. Just when I thought it was out, they pulled me back in. Uh, <laughs> climb from part three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where he's seen his son, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It's like, did you get my picture, Dad? It's like, yeah, it's got yeah, holes right in it now. <laughs> 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 well, actually, it doesn't because it makes. Sense I, know, I, know, I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, right before they killed and tried to kill me, kid. Yeah. There's is a bullet the hole of... through the yes, though. <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of Act One? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say so. It's, it sets up. Yeah, I mean, the story's set up now. It's ready to roll. So. Yeah, because I thought yeah. this was the end. This is Act Two that's coming up now. Well, then he goes off to meet the goes to Florida to Miami. Um, I don't know. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, this is a good. These scenes don't are don't absolutely. Uh, I don't want to swear here, but effing great. They <laughs> are. They are. You got to admit. I mean, the way he yeah. moves his body and puts his hand and stuff like that, just like um, Marlon Brando. It, I, I don't yeah. think he looks like Marlon Brando, but you know, he he does. He does imitate Marlon Brando in 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 these scenes. They're I will pretty say, amazing. yeah, he does. Like especially his voice. That's what, mm -hmm. um, and his, yeah, his body language, that's what convinces me. His yeah. face, not so much, but then when it gets closer mm. to yeah. 
uh, him, you know, taking over or creating his own family, he mm. starts to look more and more like yeah, the Marlon I, Brando version. Yeah. I stand by that. That he looks pretty convincing. Like, oh, okay, I can totally accept him as a younger one by the mm. end of yeah. it. Yeah, by yeah. the end of its story here in the second movie. I Absolutely. know I'm I know I'm jumping forward a bit, but do you remember that scene where he shot I can't remember the guy's name. A Don Fanucci. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he that and so they did so bad. So basically, he took the light. He took mate took the bulb out, didn't he? Do you remember? No, that? he unscrewed yeah. it. To where it was unscrewed it. Yeah. 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 So then he was like, "Hey, what's going on?" Yeah. It's racks up the tension, doesn't it? Because you think he's, yeah. he's yeah. going to shoot him there, but he doesn't. And he waits. He waits for him to go through the door, and then he shoots him. Do you know what I mean? And it's like mm. it's such really freaking great direction. Would it you? Really why do you think that he waited? In that moment, I don't know. I, 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 because I think it was the director just trying to rack up, rack up the tension. I thought I that it mirrored Michael in the first movie mm. because Michael didn't shoot them on his way out the door like he was. Or, oh, of course, uh, like he was yeah. supposed right, to. Yeah. He sat down. He has the first kill. Yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. how I. And also, I, that. I love the detail when he shoots him, and the 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 cloths on fire because of the mm -hmm. heat. Yeah, that's great. The, that's what the, would, the yeah. bullet. You know, and it's it's really nice cool. Um, um, yeah. See, I thought the reason that Vito waited is he wanted Fanucci to know it was him. He wanted him to see him and see his face and look him in the right eye. Then why even bother I'm the one that him. shot you. <laughs> no, yeah. but, but I, I think it was. I think it, um, there's no reason for him to do that to distract him. But I think it was the director's way of racking up the tension because me, yeah. when I first saw that, I thought he was going to sh shoot him there and then. You know, but then I think yeah. maybe Rennie's right. Well, can we talk maybe about he had that a second thought. Yeah, I'm sorry. We got ahead. Sorry, sorry Brown. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could have been moving the slides <laughs> as we were talking. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> this, is, this is setting up the uh, the guy, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah. he still could have been moving it. <laughs> and you're talking yeah. about the end of his end of him. This uh, yeah, this is where we see him with the guy who becomes his consigliere. The guy who died at the beginning of the first Godfather, but they cut mm. it from the movie. Yeah, yeah. I, he was I in the book. How, I wonder how actors feel, especially when they've been in something so tremendous like this film. When they look back at themselves, and yeah, because at age. the time they probably didn't think it was going to yeah. be like that, you yeah. know. But when you look back at yourself on a photograph and stuff like that, you know, it's kind of bittersweet, isn't it? That that time has gone. <laughs> and now you're here. <laughs> I love how his friend tells him, "Oh, this girl's beautiful. You should check him out. Check her out." And he's like, "For me, it's only my wife and my son. I yeah. just love my family." Yeah, yeah. that's oh, so yeah. sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's not a cheating piece of crap like Sonny. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And of course, young Mama Corleone. She's really pretty. Yeah, that's the pre three kids mom. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to say before the mom body. Oh, there he is. Villain. Don Fanucci. White suit. So when he gets yeah. shot, blood could be all over it. <laughs> yeah, because he gets up in front of him, doesn't he? And they mm. shout at him and then... Yeah. And, yeah, and he yells, like, idiot, get down. And he's like, oh. And that kind of mirrors what happens later when that one guy was rude to Vito and then realizes, <laughs> oh, crap, I was just rude to the... Those eyebrows are so thick. I know. That dude has I mean, always been weird looking. <laughs> Bunch of haters. My goodness. <laughs> Damn. Haters gonna Impressive. hate. He's sitting Eyebrows. next to Robert De Niro. He's pretty yeah, handsome, man. so it makes yeah. him look worse. <laughs> oh, some foreshadowing. Mm. We get you know Italians killing themselves. Yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, because, you know, later on there's going to be a, a significant suicide. Mm. And that that's usually what happens. It, it, it's like the Roach Motel. You, you check in, but you don't check out. <laughs> <laughs> um, money hasn't been paid, has it? And is the uh, black hand is annoyed. Mm. He is. Well, he wants a cut of everything. He thinks he—I yeah. don't know what he actually does for these people. When I'm watching him in the scenes, every time I watch this movie, I'm like, "What does Fanucci do other than threaten people and take their money?" Yeah, 
Exactly. And I think that's why Don, Col Don Vito is able to come in and take his place so easily. Because they're like, okay, this is actually a guy who looks after us. Yeah. It's actually a, a guy of the people, you know? Mm -hmm. And he probably didn't like how he'd put the knife to the daughter's throat. Yeah, nope. she's what? Like, didn't they say she was just a girl? Like, she's like, yeah. you know, under 18 or whatever. Because he's there watching it. Yeah. Fenucci's with the black hand. The whole neighborhood pays him. Yeah. But you just wonder for what? What does he actually do? Well, Vito calls his bluff a bit, doesn't he? Yeah. Here you go, Ian. World building. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Is, uh... Look at that. Do you but think my that's a just... Ian? No, it's 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 um it is it, it, it I think it's a real street, but they yeah, did it's real, isn't um it? it cost a lot of money to actually get all those props and you know you're talking about it must be a mile just like one mile that they yeah. they they dressed so I mean it is a lot of money and it is a lot of work and it looks fantastic because it it's does. real you know it's not I'm it's so not, sorry Teresa <laughs> it's not CGI buildings it, they're all real yeah. yeah. Wait, what are you sorry about? No, I felt bad. I'm like, oh no, I wound up interrupting you. I did not mean oh, to. Oh no, 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 no! There's like five of us on here. It, it, no, it happens. It's, it's, it's no worries at all. Um, she interrupts everybody. It's just not you. No, no. you don't Moving count, up. Brown. <laughs> Shut oh up. my god. <laughs> okay, so there's a there's a knock on the window, isn't there? Yeah, mm. and he just tosses a gun, bunch of guns. It's like, hey, take this. Hide it. And Vito's yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, please hide them for me. <laughs> There you go. Shoot says it's a protection racket. Okay. Hmm. I mean, what I mean, you know, it, it, things like this did happen in real life. What a world, though. You know, it's it's pretty scary to think that um, things like this actually happened in real life. You know, I hate this, guns personally. Is this the gun that he's going to use later? I don't know. I mean, probably. Mm, yeah. He doesn't go out he, and buy a gun. Yes, so. He probably didn't have a gun up until that point. Mm. I thought you wanted to wait and talk about that scene later. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Here we go. Moving on. You're about to get a cappuccino day. or an espresso. Mm. A cappuccino. Yeah. Who's the he's nephew? Looking, is he... so... I'm just oh, saying sorry. he looks like he's so badass. You know, look at me with my tilted little head and my tilted uh, little fedora. <laughs> oh, look at my little fedora for my big melon. <laughs> uh, I love that they dress him in white. It really like embellishes his character. It makes him very memorable. Yes, so just does. another thing they did really well. Mm -hmm. Is the <laughs> nephew going to replace Vito? Yeah. Yes. He he basically has to fire Vito in order to afford paying the nephew for to work, and the guy feels bad. And he doesn't know what else to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has to. See, and the, and when he the, Vito becomes the Don, he doesn't pull this kind of crap on people. Right. Just, no. no. And yeah, and that's what uh, comes from his, you know, lived experience. He's like, I'm not going to do that. Whereas Don Finucci doesn't seem like he's come from that background. No, yeah. He's a douche. He's a doucher. <laughs> Don Finucci. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Do you think he's making his mind up now that he's going to get rid of him? Mm -hmm. You see, the I don't know if getting rid hurting. of him. Yeah, because you know he wants revenge. I don't know at that time if he's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to shoot this dude, but he's definitely going to try to pay him back. Yeah, he's paying attention. And you see, that's the other yeah, thing. He's watching, is, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, Michael does the exact same thing. Fredo is like one of those idiots that doesn't, is like not aware of his surroundings. And you've got to be patient. You can't be impatient. And that was Sonny's downfall. 
Uh, Eager folks, Romeo, Romeo has been generous this evening. Uh, two New Zealand dollars. Cheers, my friend. Trivia. Puzo wrote Superman 1978. Screenplay. He did. Yes, yes, sir. Well, he did. Which is why it's good. <laughs> he, 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 wrote, yeah, yeah. He, wrote, yeah. he wrote, no, basically he wrote the draft one and two and three and then um, Malkovich came in and uh, rewrote it and it ended up the, the film that we know know now and love. So Puzo, he, he wrote the first version. So it's not right to say that he was responsible for the screenplay. The Superman. Don't be if taking you know shit I mean. away from Mario Puzo. No, yeah, no. <laughs> spoiling it. What the hell? He did. No. He did the first. Boy. He did the first couple of drafts, and it wasn't the version that ended up on film. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, Vito's been let go, hasn't he? Mm. Mm. Sorry, mate. He's We've like, I'm so go. sorry. Not Tries to give him go. food. Gotta let you yeah. go, mate. And look at him, he's what? like, you've always been good for me, and I won't forget it. I love yes. it. I love it. Won't forget it. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. Like, he even cries. It's so sad. I'm like, oh, he doesn't want to fire him. And then he takes him a gift. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some food, because he knows he's going to be starving, you know? He's got all these babies popping out. Yeah. That's, something that, that's really nice of him, isn't it? He even refused. Yeah, he refuses from, it though. Apart from one thing, I do believe. Oh, he no. takes a no. He stops and buys this. He buys a pair, does he not? Okay. Yes, at the at the farmers market thing. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know if this is a British thing, but humor on the way, folks. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that is British. Cause oh. gonna... <laughs> Are you saying because of the pun? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm thinking. Um... <laughs> you go, don't you, Ian? Mm. There we go. That's good enough for me. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> oh, look, like they're in their holding hands. They love each other. Oh. God, look how skinny he was in those days. Yeah. Yeah, De Niro, he was yeah. skinny AF. I always mm -hmm. forget that. There's his buddy before he ate all the cannoli. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know. Clemenza, right? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's Clemenza. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the guy out of, you know, the Transformers movies. What? What? Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. He's dude. got a resemblance. No. Yeah. You need yeah, to go yes. to Specs or Us or whatever it's called. <laughs> Specs or Us. <laughs> Specs or Us. He does. He's got the look. Well, from the side, I guess. But Yeah, but that's barely. Mm. He's wearing Stan, o Stan Laurel's hat. No. Okay, so they're going to go. A friend of mine has a nice rug. <laughs> okay, that's I'm a three year old. Yeah. I'm a three year old. I I'm a third. Oh, I'm a baby. Oh. Look at that. That looks like a, 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 a photograph from that time, doesn't it? It mm -hmm. really does. It's amazing. It's pretty amazing. <clears throat> oh, that's terrible, Rennie. Rennie's being <laughs> mean to you, Mr. Brown. She's just a cow bag, isn't she? <laughs> Son of a bitch. He is not home. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like your friend would just give you a rug out of his house. Yeah, come in and take yeah. it. You know, uh, I will say, Rennie, there's nothing to stop you donating to get me a pair of glasses, but moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nice shiny uh quarter, I might be able to donate. <laughs> well, not bad for uh, a full day's work, okay. Moving on, <laughs> so this way they're gonna go steal the carpet. Mm. Yeah, it's a it's like, yeah. let's just uh, roll it up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's have it. Let's have it. Rug. Big rug. Yeah. And then the cop, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear. The tension. See, this is why when someone says, let's just break into this house to get a rug, you say no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought he was just going to blow his head off. I thought, Jesus, that's unlucky, mm. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taking out a cop. 
hey, it's Rocky. They're going to sing around the, oh. <laughs> the, the thing on fire, the, <laughs> the trash thing. Oh, look at the baby. Yeah. Oh. I love this how they've just cut the rug up and this. Yeah. Mm. And look, look at the baby's got a nice little rug to crawl yeah. around on. Yeah. Loads of symbolism here as they're building up the the family. Which and is? just the way the the wife's just like, oh, oh, okay, honey, just come in with this really nice fancy rug. <laughs> mm. Who's Good the Sicilian child? Wife. Well, Sonny's the oldest, isn't it, Sonny? I think it's yeah, Sonny at this funny. point. And then later you see Fredo when he has pneumonia. Yeah. Which is Sonny? Is that the Khan? Yeah. Yep. Right. Khan. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> so could somebody tell me, is Godfather 2 based on, is there a novel? So they, I know the first yeah. one was based on, so is there an, another novel called Godfather 2 that they based no. this on or, or was it no, made no. up? Yeah. It's part of the Godfather novel. So they actually yeah. right. talk about Vito's uh, rise to power in the first one. You just don't see it in the first movie. I see. Correct. So, it's, it's, so all of this is part of the, the same novel. This mm -hmm. part is, but the stuff with Michael Corleone is not. Right. That, Correct. That's just for the screenplay, but this right. was in the book. Right. Okay. Yeah. She learns uh, not to ask questions. Okay, so we're jumping forward now, aren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back on the train. I want this train. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it is yeah. cool. Fancy. I like his cabin. Mm -hmm. Guys, first class. Yeah. Well, yeah, first With class. Or not at yeah, all. That's the only way to go. What's wrong with yeah. you, Ian? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, first class is great. So they're traveling to Florida, I do believe. Is yeah, it Miami? Miami. Mm -hmm. To see Hyman Ross. Who wants to get out? Who is his drama teacher? Every time I see this guy. Is that guy? That guy gets killed, doesn't he, with the coat hanger? Is it the same guy? Or yeah, I... yeah, that's the, hey. the assistant who was talking about earlier. Yeah. Every time I see him, I always see a coat hanger for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, that's awful. Gets done with a coat hanger. Yeah. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at those. I love the vintage. Too. This makes me want to go to an antique mall and. Just buy up all the stuff. <laughs> uh, Igor, Romeo, uh, Godfather 2 is part of the first Godfather book. Right, gotcha. So there were a lot of other stuff that was made up then in, uh, in Godfather 2 by the director and by the writer. Yeah, uh, Mario Puzo. Yeah. Yeah. Right, gotcha. Yeah, Mario Puzo was the author of the book, but he also helped to write the screenplays. So, I mean, mm. since he wrote wrote it i assume that that's where he imagined michael was going right mm -hmm. is this where roth is uh talked about his father saying how he respected him i believe so yeah mm -hmm. I wonder how marlin felt when he saw this one and it was a huge success I wonder if he if he questioned, well, why didn't they have me in this one? <laughs> well, they the asked end, him to. Uh, he didn't do it. Oh, I see. The scene at the end, he was going to be in, so they had to it rewrite was me, it. Wasn't it? I think yeah. it was. You should have just done it. Never mind. It'd just been an easy paycheck for a few, for some money, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because he yeah he was going to be at that scene where they they do his birthday cake and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But he was like, yeah, no, I want more money. Yeah. For like three seconds. Uh, Michael has got the look there. Can you see? Mm -hmm. <sighs> He's on to him. He's watching. He's watching. Well, he, he, I assume, well, he knows. I assume he knows, doesn't he? Because didn't Fredo tell him that he'd done something with him? He'd give, given him a tip or something. No, that's later where Fredo gives himself away. And yeah. Because Fredo was all like, oh, yeah, I've never met any of these people. And then five seconds later, he's like, oh, yeah, we were doing this all the time. Yeah, he, he got drunk live. and then he blabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but 
Oh, and then here we go. I love this part because he gets there and they're like, uh, we have a, a, a visitor. And it, you can tell they're all kind of agitated. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the guy on the left, Ian, at yeah. the back, isn't it? Spielberg's yeah, pal. Spielberg's friend, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think he's alive. I think he died. I'm not sure. Well, most of these people are old. Mm. Well, yeah. Oh, look at that house. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look. See, because he's trying to feel him out, too. He's yeah. trying to figure out if he was the one. This is where he says that it's his whole old father's home, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. His office. And you yeah, said that he's trying to feel him, feel him out. What's he saying? Well, I, I forget what it is. But there's something that he says that makes Michael realize that he was not behind it. Yeah. I, I, yes. Again, these are those moments where I had to rewatch and watch 10 hundred YouTube videos to find that exact moment where Michael knew. Uh, and, and this was yeah. one of those scenes. Because at first, I think Michael trusted Roth and thought Pentangeli was, uh, was behind everything and then realizes Pentangeli didn't do anything. He was just being a doucher about like wanting more more support and more money mm -hmm. but um yeah. roth is actually the one that set him up yeah. and that's why in the scene that's coming up soon when it's like michael corleone says hi michael didn't set that up roth set it up to make mm -hmm. it look like michael was trying to kill pentangeli he has that way of sitting on a chair doesn't he um it's really weird when you see him sitting on a chair it it, it, it just it just tells you menacing. Yeah, that's yeah. why that's they weird. turned it into a poster. Yeah, they it's did. It's so yeah. imposing. Yeah. Uh, this is where he specifically says about the desk of his father, isn't it? That's why his hands are there. That's such an Al Pacino move, too. I've seen him do that hand yeah. gesture in every mm -hmm. movie he's ever done. <laughs> but the thing is, he's he's far more controlled yeah. in this film. Every film I've seen oh, him yeah. in, even Heat. He's always raised his voice oh, for he no just, reason. He became like a again. caricature of himself yeah, you know, yeah. after a sense of a woman. Um, but yeah. yeah, this is when he was more restrained. Uh, we should do Heat sometime. Oh, that's, that's one a of good movie. Top 10 favorite movies, baby. I'm in Fucking on that one. Movie. Hell great yeah. Movie. Uh, well, Romeo, also, Romeo. Sorry, it's Teresa. part of his character. We only actually see him lose it during that scene with Kay, which frankly, yeah. I would have mm -hmm. too. I would have killed her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's lucky she's friends, still alive. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Mm. Uh, phone call. Nope. <laughs> He's like, don't call me here, man. Friend, you broke my heart, Riddle. <laughs> there we go. And this is also where Fredo knows that he really screwed up. Mm, yeah, yep. it's not like did he really think, <laughs> really think they were going to let him alone. Really, did they Who? think that? Did he? Think Who's that? on the phone? Johnny Ola, I believe, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And saying like, "Oh yeah, we're going to like need something else." And all oh, this. Right, he's okay, like, right, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah. "I told you to never call me here." Yeah, mm. well, I think he never wanted to hear from him ever again. Frankly. Uh, oh, here it is. Pal in the background. Yeah. He's always there. You go, Tim Hannabom, yeah, F Frito's <laughs> wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Lawrence's mum in the chat. Fucking Frito. Uh, <laughs> Barbara, how is Johnny today? Well, I hope. Okay. Um, it's it's funny though, because like I remember the first time I watched this film, especially the first one, it is quite frightening what hu what human beings can do to other people, isn't it? So, like Over a yeah. misunderstanding. Yeah. 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 Well, but if you thought someone who had just visited you was your friend, and then you thought he was going to have you strangled, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you'd be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, is oh, it... okay, Michael's going to try to kill me. I'm going to get him back. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't Michael. Her. Mm -hmm. Who's so? Who's ordered the? Uh, who's ordered this? Is it Michael or something? Ross. Else? Hyman Ross. Ah, right. Okay. 
Yeah, because Mike. And, they say Michael says hello, and you find out later Hyman set it up. Yeah, so they would think that Michael betrayed him. Mm. Right. Okay. Can't trust anyone these days. Nope. <laughs> well, moral of the story: was... don't be involved in the mob. Uh, just, yeah. just don't no. do it. So they're garroting him and then sending him right at the back of the. And then the policeman walks in. Mm-hmm. You're like, eh, nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> and then they all run out, don't they? Mm-hmm. So is that was dead, this botched on purpose? I think so, because yeah. you know, I, the more you think about it, the more it's like, you know, if he was meant to be dead. He would have died thinking that Michael tried to kill him. However, that wouldn't have done anything. Like this whole him thinking that Michael tried to kill him set everything in motion after that point. So I yeah. think, yeah, he was set up to be to be hurt but not killed. Uh, here you go, folks. Uh, Johnny Lawrence's mum in the chat. Pro tip, don't get involved with the mob. Darn right. That's a good tip. <laughs> nice tip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and then so it all get, kicks mm. off, doesn't it? Yeah, gotta shoot it, shoot it. Look at that for a set. <laughs> well dressed. Mm. Using using real blank firing guns, man. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where Spielberg's mate gets done over. Gets whacked. Boom. <laughs> Get wrecked. So, uh, lens flare, li- I think of the light aircraft landing, I do believe. Hmm. Right, so where, where are we now then? This is the hooker scene, isn't it? Yes, this is the senator, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Who's Dead hooker. A bit naughty. Yeah. I feel bad for the hooker. She didn't do anything wrong, but wrong place, wrong time. Mm. It's like let's let's find her. Yeah, she's good. Look at him, loser. <laughs> the deuce, <laughs> deuce, <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> yeah. uh, this guy with this film was great. I thought. Everybody in this film was just great. Yeah, that, that, you can't fault anyone's acting in this film at all. To tell you the truth, none of them are bad. But you yeah. got you got a master master director, you know, helm yeah. in this. So, yeah. look, he's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Him, you know, Tom's like, it's okay, man, it's okay. <laughs> when when it? somebody says okay, that's when you start getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I well, here you go, uh, Romeo, Romeo. Who really killed the hooker? Well, I don't think it, I don't think it was the senator. No, he was passed out. I think they drugged him and then they yeah. killed the hooker. Yeah. yeah, as leverage. Don't mess with Michael. There you go. Oh, and he's trying to. Oh gosh, this is awful. Mm. Uh, uh, she's okay. Uh, look. Yeah. It's like when Jackie reached for JFK's brains. Oh, dude! <laughs> That's a horrible image to have. <laughs> it was him who did it. Back and to the left. The bodyguard. Yeah. It was him. Oh, he wasn't he the, the guy? Oh, I'm not going to jump in ahead. Sorry. I was about to say, he's the guy that killed Fredo. Well, it was his right hand man, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Because the hooker was one of his regulars. Yeah. So just the wrong place at the wrong time. Wrong client, rather. Yeah. He's married, I'm assuming. Well, he was married. I mean, why would you have a hooker if you're married? Oh, for crying out loud. (laughs) Do I have to explain it? (laughs) What did did, did Paul Newman say? Why why go out for a burger when you've got a steak inside? That's what he said. So you go, John Rendell... Corleone's drug the senator and then killed the hooker to yeah. fix it for him and make yeah. them work for her. Yeah. yeah. And I think that the senator 
to answer your question, Ian, the mm. senator dude was saying, you know, yes, like, yeah, we do it rough and stuff. So that was partly it. Likely the hooker uh, did things that the wife didn't. I see. You sound like you're an expert on this. Oh, no, I've seen the movie. <laughs> Come on, everyone knows a politician's wives are terrible. I'm at joking. Sex. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the wife saying? She's saying, "Why don't you wear hats cold?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she was and asking then, when she can talk to Michael, right? Well, mm. and she's, I think she tries to leave, and they won't let her. Oh, right, right. Yeah, she tries to leave. It's like she's a prisoner. Mm. Okay, so uh, th is this Cuba? Looks oh, like Cuba. Cuba. Mm. Yeah. Very cheap Cuba. Oh, God. look at that. That's amazing. Why are they that going to amazing. Cuba? They, they were going to have the casino. Get some cigars. Was in there. <laughs> Get but some then Michael's cigars. like, hey, we're, yeah, we're about to have like a revolution. I don't think this is a good investment. Mm. I love the cars. Yeah. Mm. Cars are amazing. Yeah. See, look, Michael's paying attention. Other people aren't. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. all it's all to do with the the posture of that, you know, he comes across as very powerful, doesn't he? When mm -hmm. he sits and he just Even stares. though he's like five foot three. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> what? He's not really five foot three, but he's really short. And uh Igo Melvin deeply in the chat. I've been to Cuba is rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> All right. well, well, for crying out loud, well, the communists have had it, uh, a hand in it. Hilarious. But no, I, I never felt sorry for Kay. Mm. Uh, she knew exactly who he was before she married him. And she made that choice. Well, she was hoping, wasn't she, that he would, you know. Oh, for mm -hmm. crying out loud. Hi, like, we're a bunch of murderers. I'm like, uh, maybe I'll just go, you know, marry Johnny <laughs> at home. Yeah, but it's you, like, you, girl, you got to make your decisions. Yeah, but the thing is, though, you, you, you know, you can't help who you fall in love with, and she fell in love with him. So, you know, you can not help who you fall in love with, but you can choose not to marry them. Mm, yeah. Yes, it's more, you it's can. more complicated than that. Though, no, no, it? we'll fight. Case. Fight me. Okay, we'll fight later about this. <laughs> you can make a choice. Yeah. Green room battle. Yeah. Uh, this, is, is this, this is the president's, isn't it? And this is where he's kind of thanking all the American companies mm -hmm. for investing in Cuba. And these it's are all like, the heads oops. of those companies. Bad timing, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think some are legit, aren't they? Some of them. Yeah. Wow, what's Look at the fruit. Yeah, look at the fruit. Fruit symbolic in this. Mm. Yeah, and then they present him with a gold telephone, don't they? Mm-hmm. That's got to be heavy. It's like full yeah. gold. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck am I going to do with a gold telephone? <laughs> you can't use it. Doesn't even yeah. ring. Yeah, Michael is not impressed. <laughs> no. Here mm -hmm. um, you go, Johnny Lawrence's mom. Uh, the level of cruelty that Michael lays into her, I assume, Kate, is just awful. I mean, I don't like that that one scene. It makes me very uncomfortable. No, but I I understand why he's upset. <laughs> Even the cat doesn't like it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Kitty does not recommend. <laughs> Don't marry a mob boss, period. Don't do it. It's like, oh, the guy who murders people every day at work is going to be mean to me. Uh, yeah. It's like. <laughs> the guy who murders mom? people at work is going to be upset when I abort his son. <laughs> Weird. Mm -hmm. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Well, don't get me. Yeah, I've got some words to say about that too when that happens. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So this is the Viva La Revolution bit, isn't it? The Viva La just... Revolution. Yeah. And Michael's paying attention, but the other yeah. Egypts aren't. Hmm. See, look, he's looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Maple Leaf's a weirdo. What can I say? Uh, oh, you got Adam oh Gray. That cat, I think it's <laughs> Athena, has strong opinions regarding Cuba. Oh, Actually, yes, this one is. isn't Athena this time, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's mine. It's mine. Uh, Maple Leaf, she, she's an old cat, so she talks a lot and she yells a lot. I think she's deaf. I don't know. She's like the... Pardon? The, yeah, she's... She, she's sitting next to me. Uh oh. Well, Teresa Brown's used to Athena being a chatty Kathy, but I think I've gotten her pretty well disciplined or trained to where she doesn't do it as much as she used to. So. Well, the problem is I moved. And the only reason I would move <laughs> is that maybe that means I'm going to go get some treats because that's the only reason I would like shift in my chair. Well, and she's old. She wants her treats. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, well, she's already like, gotten some. I gave it to them before we even started. Like, oh, yeah, you here can't we go. even say the, you can't spell the word. Um, like, you know how there's dry food and then the other kind of food? I can't mm -hmm. even spell the word. I can't say the word. Tyron can't spell it or say it because she'll go nuts and be like, where's my where's my good food? Welcome <laughs> to the cat nutrition channel. Yeah. <laughs> cat yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Well, Two and a half cups it was of dry cat fault. food and two liters of water per day yeah well she's, a, she's okay Maybe she's I'll... gone now she heard okay. us talking about k and wanted to weigh in but yeah here it is so <laughs> we got some fighting going on and yeah so a guy with a grenade just took out some of the police didn't they mm -hmm. yeah and, and then it goes Michael to this thought, like mm, okay oblivious but this makes me want to have cake though my god oh, i know right yeah, i love good. cake I'm like, ooh, I need some cake. Is this is this uh, Roth's birthday cake? I think it <laughs> gonna be your last birthday, asshole. Yeah. Or no, Enjoy or is it just it. celebrating your Cuba thing? Because it says a. That's a great cake. Look at that. Well, no, I think it says like his age on there. So I thought oh, okay. it was his birthday cake as oh, well. Yeah, because he references. Uh, you've got the correct amount of candles. Yeah. Uh, okay, you're right. It just had Cuba on his cake. lemon cake. So yeah. I'd have gross. like the Cookie Monster or something on my cake. Lemon. Mm, lemon. What? Lemon's good if it's done right. What? It just has to be done right. Yeah. You like, like the yellow things... Starburst? I bet. No, I don't. Ugh. I can't stand them. They nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there we moving go. Moving on, Brown. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> moving on. You know yeah, what I'm, I'm just looking at the cake. cake. Sorry. It's like, <laughs> gosh, I don't know when the last time I've had cake. God, I could murder a piece of cake like I know. That. Yeah. Maybe I should make some dessert soon. Welcome to the, the cake channel, everybody. Really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brown, oh. Brown thought it was a good idea to give us seven or eight screenshots of that cake. Yeah, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. just leave that on and go home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cake, I'll tell you, it's strawberry cake. cake. Mm. Fresh uh, question for three. the chats who likes cake why mm. is yes no no oh. i'll start it yes oh, yeah. why yeah actually my birthday was last weekend and i had my first cake from um the cheesecake factory ever what <gasps> oh your dude. first yeah um it was fucking amazing it's so it's incredible <laughs> Oh, it yeah. is unbelievable. This life changing. Yeah, my girlfriend yes. got it for me. It was like a hundred dollar cake. What? Yeah, oh yeah. Was, they have was, like the was, best cakes. But I've never eaten anything. Penny. Yeah, it's it really is. It, it was amazing. Uh, it's like a it, foot high. I yeah. Mean, yeah. It, it's like it's like you have to get a chainsaw to dig. Yeah, she had it. to have it delivered directly to her. It was hilarious. In the chats, uh, the only person who doesn't like cake who could it be hmm. <laughs> well done time profit time profits uh, are like personal scrooge here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he has to be difficult for the sake of being difficult for everything yes yeah. i don't yeah. like yeah. american no, everybody no, likes cake cooking. yeah everybody Ooh. likes cake cake we all like cake we know That's tomorrow's right. sunday i'll have cake actually technically it's sunday now so 
uh, Barbara had it for uh, Johnny Lawrence's mum. Had it for breakfast. Yes, that's Ooh, living the life. Yeah. Look at that. Breakfast. I had poached okay. eggs for breakfast. So, moving on. All right. Enough of the cake. Now they're eating the cake. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, gosh. Roth is going to have a word with Michael, I do believe. Mm hmm. Michael's uh, starting to get nervous. Um, this is the two million because I, I assume he knows the two million is not there at the moment. Yeah, because Fredo's bringing it. So. Yeah. yeah. And this is it, isn't it? Oh, look at that hairy old yeah, chest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I want to see a hairy chest like that, I want it to be Andy Garcia's hairy chest, not that old man's hairy chest. King of oh, man. And his like young wife has to. Ride that. That's nasty. <laughs> well, but how much money does she get out of it, though? Yes, that's true. Man. But um, well, I don't he know, also man. thinks he's never going to die. That's true. Right. He's got a bad heart, though. So maybe every time she does it, she's like, maybe this will be the time. And it's like, crap. He made it. <laughs> well, doesn't Michael say later on that he's been dying of the same heart attack for 20 years? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that was a good line because you come to find out it's like, Maybe he's literally staging all this shit to make people yeah. go, oh, don't kill him. He's already dying. That's what mm, I yeah. think about it. Yeah. It's like, put on your shirt for the love of everything. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to see is that. This where, is, is this where it says we're going to create magic or something like that? Yes. Yeah. That's pretty much the exact scene. What with his hairy chest? Yeah. What a specimen. His muscle mass is up. <laughs> so there he the is. is Fredo. 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 The, the purse carrier. Here's the money. There's some missing. But there he is. <laughs> Patting him on the cheek. <laughs> the inspiration for Luigi. Is that mm. Mr. Brown on the sofa? No, it isn't, mate. <laughs> you saw that too. <laughs> I'm here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Luigi. Which one's Luigi? Mario. <laughs> From Mario oh, Mario. Oh, Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> looks, looks a bit like him. <laughs> do, do, do. I love I love how um, Al Pacino slowly went in, had more and more cravats <laughs> throughout this movie. Yeah. He's got white, oh, yeah, he's got, he white, got blue one, he's got this. He's got yeah. a cravat lover. <laughs> Is this where he spills the beans? No. 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 Well, no. well, this is where That's he tells party. him, though, that they're going to try to kill him, that Roth is going to try to kill him. Oh, okay. And Fredo's like, oh, fudge. And you can you tell that he knows more than he's telling Michael. Yeah. yeah. It's very nervous. Tim, I like saying this, Hannah Bomb. This is a great scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, Have you and, not oh my that? gosh. Sorry, oh, go sorry. Ahead. I was like, what a what a girly girl. He orders like a a pina colada or, or, or a <laughs> yeah. daiquiri. Yeah. A daiquiri. And yeah, like a pineapple daiquiri or something. I like love that. pina colada. Or banana. <laughs> he orders banana. banana. And, but no, but that's what girls order. Yeah, and I was like, you ordered a girl drink, you dummy. I, I could quaff something like that right now. Yes, I could. I. But still, it's a girl drink. And Michael yeah. just has water. As I said, I could quaff something like that right now. Okay. I'll go and make you one. I'm, technically, I'm a bartender. Oh, mm -hmm. are you? Oh, yeah. I, got, I went to school and everything for it. Mm -hmm. There you go. John That's says cool. banana daiquiri. Daiquiri. We should do a cocktail and cake stream. That would be great. Mm. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, I still got all the knowledge in my head. So let's do it. Everybody in yeah. the chat brings their own uh, you... cake and cocktails and we just get hammered. <laughs> when you're making a cocktail, did you give out any wisdom? Who, me? You know, because, yeah, because the, the, they always oh, yeah, give out I wisdom always... when I'm making a drink, don't they? Yeah, I always like to give the history, like, you know, connect the drink to history. Oh, uh, right, okay. Hey, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. He's wearing a pink suit. He's Fredo. He's salmon. Yeah, that's that's pretty salmon. Fredo. Salmon. <laughs> Brown's favorite salmon. color, salmon. Yeah. <laughs> salmon. Oh, 
Hey, I love salmon. Oh, he hasn't put a shirt on yet. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Still. So has he had another minor heart attack or something? Supposedly. Or just all play mm-hmm. acting? Love I just think paper. this is all for show. After what, um, after what Michael says about him. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Um, and this is the I, moment um, where. Go on, Teresa. Oh, I was just going to say this is also the moment where Michael finds out why Roth wants him dead and why Roth turned on him. Mm. Which is... he goes on and on about uh, uh, Mo Green. That Mo Green was like his his his, his like uh, a son, like a son to him, and he had yeah. him killed. Oh, right, okay. But it's business, though, isn't it? Doesn't matter. I mean, th- no. that's it, once that happened, Mo, uh, Roth wasn't having it with Michael. Even I think talks about yeah, you know, business, whatever. But you know, He's still not so, wearing a shirt. So this is the well, it's. Uh... Miami, Miami, I assume mm-hmm. it's quite warm. Um, well, this is this is where he says, um, "I two, what was it two million dollars short, and I know if you're in or out if it appears." Basically, mm-hmm. like have it appear. Yeah. Oh my uh, gosh, Renny. Are you shirtless? Is that what she? Is that what you're trying to say about Renny? Uh, yeah. About him, Renny? <laughs> I can see Brown dressing like that on the daily. <laughs> yeah. No, Brown sits around in a smoking jacket and a pipe. Uh, I think you're mixing them up with the Lord. I think. That's right. <laughs> That's <not what laughs> well, no, well, 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 remember the rumor I started about all all these people. The reason why they never show their faces. Mm. You can King go Charles. off somebody very, very quickly. Right. <laughs> they're, related to the, they're related to the family. Brown is King Charles and Carnac. King Charles How's is Carnac? Is, yeah, and Stieg is a, his illegitimate son. <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear that um, Charles wants uh, the Queen's consult out and he wants her to be Queen? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. And, yeah, I'm, and I'm surprised. fine with that because it's stupid. Because <laughs> we never called any other Queen consort. Just call her Queen. Uh, he also served an eviction notice on uh, yeah. Meghan and Harry. Yeah. On the house. Brilliant. My mother and I have been flying five feet off the air since we heard yeah. that. Okay. We, we want to now become British citizens after after that happened. Mm, no, you don't want to. Uh, God save on. the king. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where he's saying, you know, if you're in, you've got to give me the two mil. And then I'll know. Yeah. I like it how the 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 tough guy is always in the background. Every practically every scene. Yeah, his bodyguard. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's showing. It's showing you. And then he turns around. Uh, it's new. Is it? It's New Year's Eve, isn't it? Yes, mm-hmm. in Cuba. This is the best part. This is the part we've been waiting for. <laughs> so they're all friends, aren't they now? Except yeah. Funny how Fredo's... he came around real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Fredo's about to do something so stupid. Um. Here you go, Smilex. This film should have been called Fifty Shades of Brown. <laughs> oh no, please oh, no. That's a, that's a world of hurt, is that? On many levels. <laughs> well, yeah. Depending on how you take the title. Yeah. Well. Uh, Fredo. So F- Fredo's gonna be charged with organizing keeping the guests happy, isn't he? Yeah. Entertaining the guest. Yeah. Poor old Fredo. And loose lips. So jabs. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he signs his own death warrant here. Dumbass. He does. He's, he's so dumb because he sits there and denies it the whole time and then he gets a little drunk and he's like, haha, remember we used to talk? And Michael's all. Ah. Yeah, it's like, we come here all the time to look at this guy's big 
show. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what that word is, thanks to your Even the same. Schlong. <laughs> uh, we've got some top trivia, folks. Uh, John Rendell, did you know that the colour brown is actually a very dark shade of orange? True thing. That's what the colour wheel says. Mm -hmm. Excuse me while I cough. Okay, so... <laughs> Fredo in the hat. Mm-hmm. Fredo, oh mm -hmm. gosh. Indeed. She's about to get pounded by that donkey schlong. <laughs> <laughs> whack. <laughs> whack. That's whack, I know. It's Oof. weird that they're all just sitting watching, though. That's weird. It's cute, I guess. That's, uh, I don't know. Like, maybe like the Mexican donkey shows they used to do? What? What? The donkey <laughs> shows in Mexico? You never heard about that? You should Google that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would traumatize you. Is he looking at Fredo, then? Because he knows he's going to do Oh, yeah. He's that. like, you done fucked up, son. Yeah, but I'll tell you, the look, the acting here is absolutely amazing he doesn't say a word but you just see you know he's he's hurt he's really hurt by this when he realizes it's like my own brother really it's like yeah because michael was all about family you know yeah well i mean how would you feel if you're not only did he try to kill him he tried to kill his wife and his unborn child yeah you know i mean Devastating. Sure. Yeah. Poor fellow gets go. it, doesn't he? Gets uh. it with a coat hanger. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Gets it with a coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is where uh, Michael looked at his security guy, isn't it? After Roth walked yeah. out. Send his bodyguard to him. I just said, right, just. Take them all out. Mm. Yep. I like I like this scene because the curtain goes up and it comes yeah. down, and then the second time it comes up, he the the guy appears, doesn't he? And he's funny. like, "Oh crap!" <laughs> and then he gets the mm. coat hanger. Oops. Oh, if only he didn't mess up the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Is, is he ill? Or is it just all made up? Or is he having a genuine turn? You just don't know. I, I don't know. He does does look like a hitman dressed in the black. He does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, right. Nothing suspicious here at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so they're all at the party enjoying themselves. Uh, this is a famous line, in it? Famous line. Mm. <laughs> this is where it yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the famous mm. line. After all that investigating, he comes right back to his family. I assume the nurses are nipping off for five minutes to celebrate midnight. Well, yeah, New Year's. Hospitals are always so poorly lit in movies. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know. I mean, you can get away with it with the older ones because that's semi believable, but like with the newer ones, not so much. Yeah. So he's going to kill Roth. So oh. he does look ill, to be fair. Yeah, but he's also very rich, and he could be paying them to just, you know, just put this on me, make me look, you know, I don't know. He's playing 4D chess. Yeah. That's yeah. right. He's like the jigsaw killer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I want to play a game, Michael. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I always loved. I couldn't wait till you got to this screenshot. Yeah. I always loved this guy's face when he gets shot. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Just Jill Biden this. getting caught. Doesn't he yeah. take one right to the dome too? I think so. Um, I but does he? he oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he doesn't. He, he does. He. I can't remember this scene. Does he um, suffocate that guy in the bed? He no, he doesn't to. get to. He, no right. to. But he could have just said, I was just adjusting his pillow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to pop up all suspicious. Like, what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Just making sure he's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. dressed like that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think he has a chance to tell him, though. No, he doesn't. No, really. they just fire well, immediately. Just, just look at him. <laughs> I don't look like a fucking spy or something. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> This came from a funeral. <laughs> uh, I think this is where the president is about to resign, isn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 And this is, again, Every, and this is the famous. Everything hits the fan. Yeah. I know it was you. Freedom. Well, this is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it, yeah. I, I, I know it was you. Yeah. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. No, yeah. You. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant stuff. I love his watch as he well. Look at that. Cool. Kisses him. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. The way he like actually shakes his head is so yeah. um, mm -hmm. so forceful. Yeah. I feel like he really like they got together beforehand. It was like no, just grabbing, just fucking shake shit out because <laughs> he really does it. It's, it's really it's, funny, it's so believable. When when they do act upon an act of violence, it's always some celebration or or a mm. funeral or a wedding or a baptism or you know what I mean or or the turn mm. of the year. Which is like it's you know, it's kind of kind of it's kind of cool actually. The screenplay is very cool. Uh, here you go, Reniel in the chats. One of the best scenes in a movie. Period. Yeah, I'd question Truth? that one. It's great. It's a, it's a good scene, but I wouldn't say it's one of the best though. One of the best scenes, like in I don't know. I think it's really well acted, really well felt. You can tell all the feelings that Michael feels. You can feel the fear off of Fredo. And Fredo the isolation. Memorable. Yeah. It's memorable. The uh, lines are iconic. Um, yeah, they yeah. are. How, how is it anything but? Mm. Exactly. You've got dandruff, bad dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> needs head and shoulders. Yes, we need. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's Viva the Revolution, isn't it? Viva Revolution. Nuts. Everybody out. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah. So they're all getting out, basically, yeah. aren't they? They've all got to get to mm -hmm. the embassy. Everyone's desperate, yeah. Uh, Fredo just, Fredo just, just runs off, doesn't he? Yeah. Because he knows. He knows yeah. Michael's kind of over him and coming after yeah. him. I think the senator is here as well, trying to get it out somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that the plane Indiana Jones got on in Temple yeah. of Doom? Oh, yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> So I assume he's got out with his two million dollars as well. Don't know. Two million dollars was a lot of money in those days. Oh yeah. Today it's still a lot, but it's not a lot, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. So um we don't even know at this point if he gets out or not, do we? He just kind of moves forward mm. to Vegas now. You're talking about Fredo? Um it's Michael gets out. Because he makes it to Vegas. Well, now, now I know. <laughs> Sorry, that was a stupid yeah. statements. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Like, Sorry. Well, Fuck my and, and yeah, right. he had a way out, and and he's like, "Come on, Fredo, you're my brother." And Fredo, <laughs> he's like, "No." You know, you're gonna kill me. I'm off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone should really get some some light bulbs for these rooms, shouldn't they? <laughs> 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 the room it's all yeah. dark. <laughs> the lighting's so moody. Yeah, that's no, cool though. So he's told the security guys to get get out. 
private meeting. Yeah. Uh, is this where he says the wife lost the child? Yeah, yeah. he says that she lost the baby. His shit, isn't he? And his first question was it a masculine child or was it a boy? Yeah. Not. And it was, was like it a it's day only three months. Yeah. It was Maybe them. Not. Oh, that's why he starts crying. <laughs> 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 I wanted a they them. <laughs> I mean, now did Tom know the truth, or was it? Uh, did she deceive everyone? Because I mean, abortion was not legal at the time. So, well, and my question is, how was she able to do it when she wasn't allowed to leave the property? Mm. That's true. S some yeah, of the logistics. Maybe, maybe she got someone in without them knowing. Mm possible i know or I guess doctor patient confidentiality possibly maybe well but i'll tell you what though i even saw a theory once well i guess we'll get there but that she was lying that it really was a miscarriage and she just did it to and she just heard him mess just, with him yeah yeah just a fucking shit up. yeah i thought that well that's mm. a good um that's a good call on it could be possible because yeah, i just, just kept because wondering of yeah, because of the practicalities of it at the time. This is the 1950s, and uh, it was... Um, Ego Stuart Mitchell, uh, can't you give me a straight answer anymore? Was it a boy? Mm -hmm. No, it was a they, them. Tom didn't know. Oh, no. Arr. Oh, my gosh. Is that why he's losing his shit here? Because... Oh, yeah or something else right okay you know it's funny because um you know at least in these movies it's you know the italian men are all, all about having sons because remember in the first movie luca brazi even was like i hope your first grandchild is a masculine child so it's always about someone to carry on the legacy yeah. so mm -hmm. even though he had anthony uh, he wanted yeah. this to be a boy yeah. never be able yep. to say that today no sexist Mm. Oh, and then back to F Fredo being sick with pneumonia, and that could have mm. killed him, you know, because back then they didn't have you know antibiotics and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Eager folks, Action Man Gaming. Fredo or Fredo, you're Fredo. nothing. You're mm -hmm. nothing to me now. Fredo. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do. Yeah. Uh, that's a savage. Okay, so what are they doing to the baby? Powdering him down, I don't know. Yeah. They put... Did they put um, something like a, a glass or something on the baby's chest, a hot glass? Yes, like they burned like a yeah. little piece of something and then like covered it in the glass to kind of suction whatever it was out. That's an interesting what is it? way of dealing with it. It's not a newborn baby, is it? No, I don't think so. What were they trying to get rid of, though? I can't remember this scene. I thought, thought they said it was polio that Fredo had. Oh, I can't right. remember, oh, okay. though. Yeah. I, it was. I, I recall it being pneumonia. Okay. Because mm. polio, there was no cure for that. You know, um, he would have been crippled and all that. Well, they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have bothered because he was going to die anyway. <laughs> I will say, uh, Johnny <laughs> Lawrence's Dang. mom has <laughs> yeah. saved the day. It's called cupping. Oh, okay. Uh, Atom cupping. John pneumonia. Mm. Chatter on fire tonight. I know. <laughs> Thank Something you, chat. Else. You've saved the stream there. So here we go then. This is uh, this is where he's going to do him over, isn't it? Mm, great scene. Oh, I love it. What? Has he had, he's not he's not had his meeting yet, has he? 
Whereas, has he put the hundred dollars on the table yet, or have I just completely uh, imagined that? Mm, I don't think he's put it on the table yet. But this is the one where yeah he finds that he's got that that job delivering dresses, and he's like, "Oh, this would fit my daughter. I'm going to take it. Thanks." It's like, "What the fuck? Are you serious?" And he's like, "You can pay me my money later." Yeah, because he knows everything about uh, Vito, doesn't he? Because he's saying it here. pretty much. Yeah. And he doesn't want to give him the money, does he? Mm -mm. He's like, he tells his friends to each give him like, you know, third. 50 bucks or something like that. And then he'll, he'll make it right with Don Finucci. So he's threatening that if he doesn't, the cops will come to the house, as he says there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I don't think he's happy, is he? No. Well... I love it. Remember those days when you used to tuck the the napkin in <laughs> those days. It was bad. See those Transformers, man. <laughs> no. Who's he? Is is he a famous actor? He looks so familiar. Uh, he's been in uh, lot he was in lots of things. Was he in, in um when Harry met 80s. Sally? Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. he oh, was a, it's uh, him. Yes. I can't remember his name, though. He's got like a squeaky voice, well. isn't he? Maybe not. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay him, does he? Yes, but I'd take him out than to pay. Yeah, he's not happy. I'll take care of everything. They always say that. Yeah. Don't take care of shite. <laughs> you can also <laughs> see the uh, the Brando cheeks there. Yeah. yeah. Still see? looks nothing like A him. Little. Come on. Yeah, but just to match, keep in mind, like Brando's for our older Vito was a little bit portlier, a little yeah. bit older, kind of had more of the jowls thing going. I don't know. I see it. And to me, it, it makes sense because you know at first I was like, "What the hell?" And then I'm like, "Okay, all right, I'm I'm getting there." And did they did they give him a no? They didn't, did they? I thought they gave him a false nose as well, but they didn't. That is I don't think De Niro's. So. Mm -hmm. That's his nose, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we go. This is where he's going to go for his meeting, isn't it? And then he's it just literally just takes him out within minutes, doesn't he? Well, he follows him. No, really. yeah, yeah, no. That he waits until there's the uh, festival thing. Yeah. Well, I think the festival is on now. No, no. This is before he meets with him because he's going to go oh, okay. meet with him. I'll make a father offer he don't refuse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's walked in. Doesn't he not wear any other clothes? He's always wearing that white suit. <laughs> Maybe he's like a cartoon character. He has like 12 of the same outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so he was expecting 200, was he? Hmm. He was a bit stupid not having anyone. Does he have any bodyguards or anything? He doesn't have anyone, does he? No, I don't. I mean, I don't think what so. Do they make it sound like he doesn't or seem. Hmm. You've got balls, young man. You've got balls. And guts. Hmm. So he's going to find him some work, isn't he? Hmm. He's still not uh, across the wrong person there, didn't he? Yeah, he's still not happy. Yeah. Uh, here you go, Billy Bob. White suit equals death. <laughs> <laughs> Just true. It <laughs> is true. Uh, 
You know, um, what's his name? Here it is. Yeah, he said it was the easiest film he ever directed. And that's crazy, because look how big the film is. Yeah, he said it was... They didn't give him any trouble, the studios didn't give... Because obviously, Mm -hmm. because of the first one's huge success, and whatever he wanted, they gave him, so... And it's, it's, you know, it's very rare that the second film is is better than the first. I think this one's slightly better than the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but they're rare, aren't they? The second one's usually is Star Trek Two. Um, yeah, no, you're right. Because Star Trek One was so rubbish. <laughs> yeah, oh, I could start. I could Star Trek Two yeah. not be better than the first one. But anyway, um, yeah. He said everything went smoothly. He said, "Who is directing this?" Uh, that's the money shot there, though, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez, mm. look at that. Gorgeous. He's just walking around like a dog with two dicks, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's a new saying I've never heard before. Uh, well, I've heard a bag of dicks before, but not. Yeah. That's all right. Dog well, with two dicks. Dog with two dicks. Is, is a dog with two dicks? Look. It's got an orange. An orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what is it about the orange? I have no idea. It well, there, it's it was a thing with the Godfather in the first. Movie. Oh yeah, of course, of course, yeah. of course. Mm-hmm. You know, he was getting he was getting oranges before he was shot. When he, right before he died, he had that orange. You know, that he made that face with his grandson. Yeah. And see, see, I haven't seen this film in a long time, but I remember this scene. This scene yeah. is a pretty well directed uh, scene in the movie. Where he's following him on the uh, rooftop and all that. You go, Tim. I like saying this Hannah bomb. Oranges equal death. It's true. So Don't if you're wearing a this. white suit, eating an orange, yeah. that's not good. Don't eat an orange. It's no bueno. Yeah. Just get your orange from Marks and Spencers. You'd be fine. <laughs> this seems really good, and it's uh, it's uh, like the white suit comes into play in it because everybody's wearing something dark, and you can see him from. A bug mm-hmm. wearing the white suit, which is quite clever. He yeah. just kind of mm-hmm. stands out, you know. All of this is done by design, all of it. So it's really mm-hmm. cool. Directors, really yeah, cool. love the scene though. He's climbing over the roofs. Mm-hmm. Goes in and screws the light bulb. Tries to make a silencer out of the towels, yeah. so people won't hear it. Thing is, he doesn't need one though, does he really? Henry the Eighth. Well, he's trying to. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people noise outside, yeah. but still, he's cautious, isn't he? And here so, it is. So yeah, fucking ball, great yeah. scene. Great. Love scene. it. Mm-hmm. The tension. Yeah. Once it just offering him a towel so he can have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Your bath is ready, sir. What have you got there? <laughs> Boom! Oh, my chest! <laughs> Lens flare. Well, that's, that's, that's the squib that go, that that's when they used to put real squibs on, yeah. on, on actors. I'll take a few attempts CGI. to get that. Yeah. Yeah, this was weird, where it just totally rips his shirt open. Mm. Is it because he's just shocked, or I don't know, it's just weird, weird. It was ending. shock. It was shock. Yeah, it was a shock. Yeah, maybe like, hey, where? What's going on? Where is it? Mm. You talking to me? <laughs> so, he, <laughs> so, he fire, so he fires again, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. We well, gotta make sure he's dead for show. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to play around. Right in the cheek. Oof. I'll do it. And then the towel catches fire. Yeah. Some nice touches in this film. Really nice touches. And then, I don't even think he's dead oof. at this point. The, uh, yeah. Just in case. Eat this. Mm-hmm. Can you see the, uh... Yeah, the splat. Oof. 
So you don't realize how dangerous this is. So to do this effectively is the way they did it. They have a tiny little explosion behind or a little thing behind his head. Yeah. So it creates the the smoke and the and the spark. Yeah. And it's, uh, we did we did one I did one on my very first film and we were all really nervous when we did it. Okay. But if Oof. it's done right, it doesn't hurt the actor. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. How many actors have you killed? <laughs> <laughs> that's between me and the and and the corpses. That, <laughs> that <line. laughs> yeah, it's no. like they can't prove anything. I was acquitted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So who's going to hide the gun? Mm. I always so what's this imagine thing? the. What's... Those poor people, like down on the other end of those pipes. I don't know if that was going down to like clank, a fireplace clank. or something. Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. somebody's on the john and they hear a clank, and I was like, "Oh, that must have been it's a like, big how one." How did that get in the toilet? Yeah, how did I get in my bum? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think it's the same gun from previous because it disassembles the various parts yeah. and throws the parts down separate pipes. Mm. Lucky Dick Van Dyke ain't cleaning those chimneys, isn't it? <laughs> Come across the <laughs> pots with a gun. <laughs> Mary Pop, what the hell is this, Mary Poppins? <laughs> yeah. And then there's baby Michael. Mm, yeah. Your father loves you very much. Is that okay. Fredo? Which one's Fredo? The Fredo's the, one. the other one, the middle one. The middle one. Intermission. Intermission. Yeah. I remember this in the cinema. There you go. Oh, shit. I bathroom. forgot about this. Yeah, you can no. go to popcorn. Get your popcorn. Now, do you want an intermission or are we just going to plow through these? I, I've I've literally got to go because I have to wake up tomorrow early. I'm working tomorrow. So, I didn't, well, obviously, I knew it was going to be this long because the film's three hours long. So, Shall I we have end to bail and come back. I'm fine with that if everyone else is. Yeah, because yeah. mm. I think we're running out of energy a little bit as well. Yeah. When um, are you wanting to continue? Because I will be out of commission next weekend. Out of commission? What? Is Michael coming to, to do you in? No. <laughs> um, we'll be staying out in the boonies. And so oh, I don't think I'll have uh, any reception or Wi-Fi well, or anything. So. We'll figure that out. Okay. Um, See, so here you go. John, let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if everybody else wants to plow through it, I mean, I'm I'm game for that too. I just I don't want it oh, to be. Oh no, I don't me. think I could plow through. No, no I, yeah. Well, I've got, I've got to go anyway. So I will say, bless the chats. We're yeah. two hours forty five, and they're still there. <laughs> yeah. Rock and roll. So shall we come back? We shall come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we should. Yes, we because if uh, Francis Ford Cop Coppola is saying it's an intermission, then I think it's an intermission, don't you? Definitely. Mm. Yeah. I'm agreeing with the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And two hours 45 would be a very nice OCD place to bail. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Weird, so, um, I think that is it for part one. Of the review of part 11. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, I will say, please consider donating to the channel. Links are in the description or pinned message. Obviously, the disclaimers. Hopefully I've At got first, I graphics. thought, oh my gosh, how nice of Mario Puzo to put that in for you <sighs> into the movie. <laughs> I Very think nice we did, uh, when we did the Empire Strikes Back because we were so into it. I think that was a four-hour stream, but we kind of did that in two parts as well, and that was great. So um, yeah, I think it's probably the best thing to do is just to come back refreshed for the uh, to be you know for the last part, you know, for the uh, the finishing off, as it were. So I will thank. The chat, chat, you are wonderful. Uh, really do appreciate that you've stuck with us two hours, 45 minutes on a Saturday night. Guys, you are fantastic. Always bring your A game. Uh, 
appreciate the super chats. Uh, don't forget, we will be back tomorrow. Um, so, chat, you're wonderful. Thank you very much. I will thank the guests. Movie Cynic. Cheers, my friend. Woo! Cheers. Uh, Martin Muses. Cheers. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, in. Yeah, no worries, guys. Thank you. And uh, the star of the show, it's all for her. Here she is, Rennie L. Cheers, <laughs> Rennie. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you for doing this. Um, one of the best movies ever. Uh, tell me you didn't enjoy wa- rewatching it, and I'll take it back. I hated it. No, you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. Um, I will say when you when I am doing the slides, and if it's a great movie, then the slides are not as painful. Just saying. So, I think that is it, folks. Uh, we are back tomorrow with the musings stuff. I think the Lord is back tomorrow. Um, so we'll be doing the uh, news of the week stuff. So I think that is it. I think everybody should go to bed, get some sleep, especially if you're in Blighty. That is it. We are out of here. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Ta-da now. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.